बॉस हम मीटिंग्स में नहीं बैठे थे उधर वेटिंग एरिया में बैठे चार चार घंटा रिसेप्शन में बैठते थे अमेजोन के Every time I go into a store, you guys have been, and that's that's for me to see a brand block as consistently as yours, with hero products, with consistent messaging, with retailer love. But हर बात में there was a mama or father. Yeah, always. <laughs> that's the way. Always happens. When we took these concepts to consumers, like nobody had seen these kind of products or ingredients being talked about in the market. And we didn't have to convince them. And we didn't have to convince them that this will work. They were already convinced 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 that this will work. They were already still ask for the dhaniya mirchi as a dish i want to give out this message that yes there are certain years of doing tapasya when you start up you have to figure it out you have to scale it to a certain level but after that you can also have a life while building a company start by congratulating the both of you on just an insane journey and i'll tell you this very honestly like we had the same investors we had the same board members they would come and meko itna gussa aata tha to be honest <laughs> मामा अर्थ में ये हो रहा है तुम क्यों नहीं कर पा बोले यार ये हमारा अलग कैटेगरी है ये तो आई वुड लाइक बी आई वुड नी जर्क काइंड ऑफ डिसमिस इट एंड ऑन्टरप्रनर्स हैव दैट वियर्ड ऑप्टिमिज्म प्लस एरोगेंस थोड़ा सा वो होता है ना कि यार कंपेयर क्यों कर रहे हो एंड आफ्टर अ फ्यू मंथ्स आई लाइक नहीं यार सही बात बोल रहा है <laughs> कुछ तो हो रहा होगा वहां पे बट कांग्रेचुलेशंस ऑन जस्ट नॉट ओनली स्टार्टिंग विद अ बैंक बट कंटिन्यूइंग इट हिटिंग 1500 crores 2000 crores i don't know like i have i have stopped count uh, yeah. of what revenue numbers you guys said but that's aside i think every time i go into a store you guys have been and that's that's for me uh, as bombay shaving company and for my team i can say on their behalf to see a brand block as consistently as yours with hero products with consistent messaging with retailer love with consu- consumer love i make out when i go to the bathroom more than the market बट हर बाथरूम में जाकर मैं मेरे दोस्त के घर पे था दे आर न्यू पेरेंट्स बाय द वे एंड बाथरूम में देयर वाज अ मामा अर्थ फॉर या ऑलवेज एंड हमेशा होता है तो कांग्रेचुलेशंस फॉर वन बिल्डिंग इट आउट इन अ वे दैट नन लाइक नोबडी इमेजिन वी कुड नॉट डू वी आर स्टिल फॉलोइंग अ फुटस्टेप्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स लाइक यू सेट द बार फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ आवर बेंचमार्क्स ऑन मार्केटिंग ऑन सेल्स ऑन हाउ टू वी डू थिंग्स बट I must tell you, you guys are like just insanely uh, inspiring and recreating. But I think you have done something which very few people are capable of doing. And I just hope it goes forward. But this conversation is more about both of you, and you know how you have done it more than what it is. You are uh, being very kind. It it yeah, is always overwhelming to hear this. It just reassures us that we are. doing something right we are on the right path and we need to continue doing what we have done in the past so thank you thank you and especially for someone who's as successful as yeah. you and was in the same business and category and i think we we are we are like humble thank you thank you so and much. today so i actually think of this as a master class for anyone who wants to build a consumer brand starting with me so i'm on the other side of the table i will ask you ki agar aap bombay shaving company chala rahe hote to aap kya cheeze alag karte kis pe double press karte hain so all, all of that be part of the discussion people are watching <laughs> will we'll kind of we will be tickling your branding assignment ke na alag paise lete hain theek ye jo tum mom ne company banwana chahte ho iske iske share lagenge wo jo bahar likhe hue hain na wo jo company se aane wale hain hame wo chahiye hopefully hopefully only that but they nahi but nahi honestly like we are all very i'll tell you very honestly i don't think many people fundamentally understand like everyone can put it together i also try to put together what is the formula for success and i think for you guys i think you guys got a lot of strategic decisions right and i want to kind of at least from my standpoint right you got a celebrity ambassador on equity very early which i think was i remember you telling me once ki yeah. a bahut time laga tha lekin it totally worth yeah. it it played it paid for itself in so many beautiful ways you guys got the messaging spot on you guys got the portfolio spot on you started creating your onion and yeah. your uptan and you created hero products very quickly and you built it out but you you guys kind of nailed amazon flipkart very early like compared to a lot of the others who were still figuring it out i remember koi tumhe ko pata tha ki varun and gazal are in the amazon office more than they are in the mamaarth office initially you should also be there i thought acha maybe maybe makes sense 
But I want to understand, in, if you were to take hindsight, yeah. this 0 to 1 crore per month to 5 crores per month to 10 crores per month and I was, a lot of us were kind of tracking you guys because we were, we were around the same tenure. But you guys hit those benchmarks very quickly. So talk about the earlier, uh, and you, I've seen you guys talk about this and you, you, you attribute it a lot to luck and that's your humility. But if I were to ask you today, yeah. like hand on heart, what was it that differentiated you from the rest so quickly? So in the early days, still maybe you were a 100 crore brand, 150 crore brand. So, first of all, I don't think we have ever sort of uh, dedicated it to luck. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we, we, we do believe being in the right place at the right time makes a difference, right? I mean, if at that time, if there is a competitive environment or there are so many brands that are today, then it is probably very difficult to do that thing. So, I do believe we do, uh, we do attribute a bit to that. Right? But I don't think we are attributed fully to that. <laughs> there is, of course, there is a system, there is a design, and there is uh, some kind of a strategy that we have built because after that, we have seen a which is now close to a 500 crore brand. And Acologica, Dr. Shaith acquired Kia, Tis Guna scaled Kia Saal Me. So I think, I mean, we at least in our category, we have figured out what we have to what is the combination of things which needs to come together and click? And, and at least more often than not, we are seeing that they are working on things. So I would say like, there is some bit of playbooks, capabilities that we have kind of built as an organization. And that started of course with Mahmoud Sehwi. But over time, that's probably been the biggest effort for us, right? Saying that this how do you like productize them into capabilities right I mean for example in your case uh, the digital marketing skill you have productized into a capability company right right so we have to productize it which we have like 6-7 different skills or playbooks it's almost kind of become a internal uh, playbook, right, to get newer brands, right, and to continue on the brand journeys, right. And playbooks bhi evolve hoti rehti because what worked for one work, what then doesn't necessarily work today, to what worked at that scale doesn't work at a mamad scale now, right. right? Yeah. So, ab, matlab, um, jo cheez 0 to 1 mein work karti hai, wo cheez like 100 to 1000 mein bilkul nahi work karti, mm -hmm. different ho jati hai. So, I think there is sort of sense to it. And yeah, probably, yeah, absolutely. You know, I agree. I think, uh, Mama Earth was launched seven years back versus the new brands that we have recently launched a couple of years back. I yeah. think those that duration of four or five years itself has changed the ecosystem as well as the consumer a lot, right? So, for example, with Mama Earth, mm. we were very sure our pain point was why is no brand listening to us? And we were very sure when we launched the brand that we are going to be one that listens to its consumers. And I think that actually helped us go a long way because... While we were thinking about the strategy of Mama Earth in a certain way, for example, in our deck, we are going to be a baby care brand, we are going to only launch baby products, possibly get into, uh, let's say, bottles and nipples and then furniture eventually. The focus on consumers actually helped us guide in the right way. Where they were the ones who said that this we are not able to relate with. We love your shampoos, we love your creams, we love the mosquito repellents and the natural aspect of it. So why just baby, why not moms? Yeah. So that was the first leap, I can say, that was the first leap that we found. And going forward, they said, why just mothers, why not adults? Because papa bhi to babies ke itne hote. And that opened up like such a large category for us where we're just operating in baby. And now we, are, we get that chance to operate in the entire beauty and personal care category. And I think those were the learnings at least that consumer focus still exists. Of course, a lot of things have changed. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you have to continue to listen, to learn, to evolve, uh, to be able to disrupt your own selves and say that this was working two years back, this might not work today. Correct. I think that's the learning <clears throat> journey that we have experienced in the past. And we're still on that. We still make mistakes, but we still ensure that we are not losing that sight of the people consumer. who are buying into us. 
uh, we are very sure that we are keeping them happy, keeping them satisfied, and delivering to their expectations. That's the goal. Or, but अगर मैं sorry हाँ वो एक अगर मुझे बताओ ना यार तीन चार चीजें जो consistent and which even then it was consistent and I'm going to focus first on zero to one journey कि okay. uh, from launch to getting to that initial जब आप कहते हो ना यार PMF हो गया है आ रहा है right now I'm feeling कि like if we if we now put money behind growth levers this can become big right so that zero to one journey mein if if one has to sort of call out a few things which are which were relevant then and are relevant today right first thing i would say is product to chahe us time pe when we were building the baby care range right um i think focus on a differentiated made safe product right that this has to be toxin free and it cannot be a manufacturer speak and sirf hum log bolenge to matlab uska utna weight nahi hai agar ek external agency jo hai wo certification degi aur wo bhi bolenge hamare sath right that this is genuinely safe right consumers will find that to be a higher weight right because as a brand they currently don't trust me. Mm. now how do you build formulations which are in line with that for that certification and right? without losing the sight ki bhaiya प्रोडक्ट हैज टू स्टिल परफॉर्म अगर वो एक शैम्पू है राइट इट हैज टू बी माइल्ड बट इट हैज टू स्टिल क्लीन इफ इट इज अनस्क्रीन राइट इट हैज टू बी माइल्ड एंड सेफ बट इट हैज टू प्रोटेक्ट करेक्ट तो विदाउट लूजिंग साइड ऑफ कैटेगरी हाउ डू यू डिलीवर अ डिफरेंशिएटेड फॉर्मुलेशन एंड आई मीन दैट इन टर्म्स ऑफ टूडे वाइल्ड बिल्डिंग एक्वोलॉजिका वेर वी सेंग दैट है द होल कोर इन साइट इज दैट इंडियन ट्रॉपिकल वेदर राइट does not need heavy creams right and matlab angrez chale gaye cream mein chhod gaye was our basic belief saying yaar wo 200 saal yahan aaye apni cream leke aaye right unka weather alag hai right and we just like copied uh, we just copied and uh, extended those creams started right? using the thick we, oily textured creams yeah, right? and and actually to wo is desh ke temperature ke liye to bani nahi hai right hame to light hydration chahiye which is why culturally agar aap 500 saal 700 saal या कुछ भी टेक्स्ट पढ़ लो हमारे हमारे यहाँ पानी की बहुत वैल्यू है right? चाहे वो रोज वाटर हो चाहे वो तो हाइड्रेशन की बहुत वैल्यू है देश में बिकॉज यहाँ पे हाइड्रेशन इज फार मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट देन मॉइस्चराइजेशन इन वे तो दैट ब्रांड वाज कम्प्लीटली बिल्ड ऑन दैट इनसाइट बट उस इनसाइट से ज्यादा जब प्रोडक्ट बनाओ right? तो हाउ डू यू बिल्ड प्रोडक्ट विच आर सो ओन दैट प्रोडक्ट इन साइट कि दे स्पीक दैट लैंग्वेज आपको मार्केटिंग में नहीं बोलनी पड़े द यूजेज टेल द पर्सन की आर इसमें वो जो भी ये बात कर रहे हैं वो निकल के आ रही है तो मतलब मेकिंग दैट सनस्क्रीन एंड विच वॉज द मोस्ट लाइट एंड हाइड्रेटिंग सनस्क्रीन इट वॉज अ मैसिव चैलेंज बट गेटिंग दैट राइट वॉज रेलिवेंट देन एंड इज रेलिवेंट करेक्ट सुपर रेलिवेंट टूडे राइट सो आई थिंक एक डिफरेंशिएटेड प्रोडक्ट एंड विच स्पीक्स टू द प्रोपोजिशन दैट यू स्टैंड फॉर करेक्ट आई थिंक दैट डज नॉट चेंज एंड तो जीरो टू वन जर्नी में एक तो बहुत सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज़ है एंड आई थिंक सेकेंड थिंग इज यू नो वॉट इज वॉट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ डिफरेंस एंड रीजन टू बिलीव एंड विच इज़ कि यार इतने सारे प्रोडक्ट है ना पाँच सौ रुपये की ये भी क्रीम मिल रही है ये भी लोशन मिल रहा है ये भी सनस्क्रीन मिल रहा है राइट आपका क्यों बेटर है एंड वॉट इज द रीजन वाई वी शुड गेट कन्विंस्ड कि आपको बेटर है Like having that clarity, I think वो बहुत ही simply structure वो काफ़ी बार नहीं होता लोगों के दिमाग में मतलब people से कि यार ये ये category बड़ी है and hence you can play in it राइट right? but differentiation तो clearly चाहिए right कि यार what do you stand for and and why should someone believe that you stand for it राइट right? I think second thing वो भी बहुत relevant है चाहे तब चाहे अब right? and third in my mind is figuring out a a growth hack which is relevant for that time correct right? um in our case for example the communication insight that we started with right, was this communication insight ki our moms trust other moms right uh, humne jab initially yeah. baby ko study kiya tha right um uh, mean uh, like two types we came across ki consumers jo the right uh, jo ki um ek type ka consumer tha which had the 0 to 6 months baby right and uh, us time pe influencer is the doctor right uh, because vaccinations 
जर्नी चलती है राइट तो आप हर पंद्रह दिन बाद डॉक्टर के पास जाते हो तो अगर आप जा ही रहे हो तो आप दस और सवाल लिख के ले जाते हो यार कि ये भी कर सकते हैं ये भी कर सकते हैं ये कर रहे एंड यू आर ऑल्सो अ लिटल सॉर ऑफ यू नो हेजिटेंट अराउंड द बेबी राइट वो छः महीने बाद यू गेट अ लिटल मोर कम्फर्टेबल अराउंड द बेबी यूर लाइक यू कॉन्ट ब्रेक द बेबी यूर यू कॉन्ट ब्रेक यू क्या या या सो सिक्स मंथ्स ऑनवर्ड्स यू स्टार्ट बिलीविंग यू अब नहीं ठीक है राइट मतलब उतना भी टाइम हम नहीं इतना हम सोच रहे थे राइट तो फिर यू एक्चुअली स्टार्ट रिलाइंग ऑन अदर मदर्स could be your sister could be your colleague could be someone you don't know on a facebook group yeah, of whatsapp members. groups yeah. could be from your lamaz group you know someone on whatsapp group or generally your society whatsapp group as well right? and you start relying on those circles and those mums in in terms of believing what you need to buy right? and uh, and that journey right is where we found that this is where a consumer brand can be built right because the doctor channel is not for us it's a very different it's a pharma channel people build it differently if you want to build consumer brand then right? you can at best have a consumer who can be your influencer to wo wale piece se humne ye insight nikale the ki moms trust other moms right? and us insight ke base pe pehle um, you know like i remember initial first 3 months and Like she talked some 700 yeah. uh, moms yeah. right personally on the phone <laughs> and wow. those conversations used to be like an hour long where 50 minutes was regular conversation about how can i do this ghar pe kya ho raha hai has the maid come etc and 10 minutes used to be specific to my wow. work related conversations which was the goal wow. but i did all of that and that's why i'm saying that because we were talking to these mm. mothers who who were supposed to be our consumers going forward when we for example testing the communication with them or communication coming out of them the insights like mothers trust other mothers, mothers more than they trust brands came yeah. out of them right be it the product formulation and testing it with them and once they sharing like life that's the best form of feedback that you can get and we do that even today like yeah. till date we that's that's a constant which doesn't go anywhere across any of the brands that we have launched yeah. i think that really uh, helped it's us it's amazing how you guys think about insights and you know insight is such an abused word sabko lagta hai har cheez insight hoti hai information is insight but one is to recognize the insight but the more important thing is to articulate the insight mothers trust other mother in hindsight it seems very obvious yeah. but if it is not articulated it is it doesn't come out at you so for example i'll give you, i'm i'm actually playing back so you said product reason to believe and growth hack which is relevant for the time right fully agree for bombay shaving company i just did not realize how hard word of mouth would be so when you say mothers so my product is used privately inside the bathroom yeah. mm. okay and my consumer just doesn't talk to forget about trusting the, the consumer doesn't talk to the other mm. consumer ki mera razor acha hai mera shaving cream acha mm. product performance 10 on 10 hua to bhi mm. khush hota hai repeat karta hai khud mm. lekin will never tell the world so now I, I'm stuck because no one's talking. I have delivered. I've delivered what I had promised. I would deliver. I told you that you know, Mama Shaving Company will give you a great experience, right price point, charcoal foam. Hai. You know, mine's our insights were key India, and you're right. Western products, like deodorant, is very clear. It's a Western aerosol yeah. product for an Indian market, right? Even shaving foam, Indian men shave before they shower. I'm sure even yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, shave yeah, before yeah, you shower. Yeah. The Western world shaves after they shower. With a towel on, after the bath they shave oh. because the hair is softer. Yeah. Now Indian men shave with a banana or a t-shirt on. They don't like foam leaking on the neck. That was the insight. कि ऐसा प्रोडक्ट बनाओ जो चिपक जाए फिर और लीक ना करे ताकि t-shirt और banana साफ रहे. We might want to repeat it. So we made that. We communicated it. We got response also. कि है repeat rates are forty forty two percent. Like very good. चारकोल है तो जब धोता है बंदा तब ऐसे बेसन में वो काला काला आता है उसको लगता है चेहरा साफ भी हो गया टू इन वन प्रोडक्ट आ गया सो यू अपील टू एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ द यूसेज सुगंध भी सही है द प्रोडक्ट गोस क्लोजेस्ट टू नॉस्टल द क्रॉस ऑल पर्सनल केयर सुगंध भी सही है उसमें तो सब कुछ सही है लेकिन रेफरल नहीं है लाइक देयर इज नो वर्ड ऑफ माउथ सो वी हैव टू रियली फिगर आउट हाउ डू वी डू द होल बारबर शॉप दिस होल थिंग इज बिकॉज़ माय कंज्यूमर जस्ट डजंट टॉक my kandiwa mm. just doesn't talk i have to do the talking for him me nee, by the way jab hum bhi we are talking about this whole space of moms trust other moms mm. 
bringing it to life from a word of mouth perspective That's right and which is where she thinks see firstly let's understand right i mean the more high level of involvement a category then the lower is the propensity of a organic word of mouth correct right? मतलब मैं आपको कोई रिकमेंडेशन दे दूँ आपके बेबी के लिए हाँ. और आपके साथ कुछ खराब हो जाए बेबी का वो आप तो मेरे से नहीं और बात ही नहीं करोगे करेक्ट कि यार इसमें तो मतलब जो क्रीम बताई थी मेरे बच्चे की वो राश हो गया राइट मैं क्यों सॉरी uh, इस पर ट्रस्ट करूँ राइट ना एंड हिंस लाइक इट इज़ अ फार हार्डर रिकमेंडेशन योर 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 कॉस्ट ऑफ रिस्क एसोसिएटेड विद दैट एज अ पर्सन राइट ना ऑफ नॉट सेंग इज जीरो of saying there is a very high risk associated and ki chal pasand aaya to tu kya bolega right it is not like you're going to come again say oh my god you're so sweet <laughs> right but agar nahi aaya right to aise hi matlab char galiyan padengi right and i think that's the general general attitude that i at least see right yeah. it's a low or high high downside haan, recommendation right? or by the way that attitude is not just true for recommendations right that attitude is true for कॉन्वर्सेशन इन जनरल आई फील बिकॉज सोशल पे भी यही हो रहा है अगर कोई चीज लाइक पीपल आर फार मोर हैपियर टू सपोर्ट और बिलीव इन नेगेटिव स्टफ रहन पीपल आर नॉट एज यू नो अप फ्रंट अबाउट शेयरिंग पॉजिटिव स्टफ पीपल द अमाउंट ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक पॉजिटिव रिव्यूज इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो इन लाइक वी टॉक टू सो मेनी कंज्यूमर्स बट वी वी हैव लाइक Every person in our company talks to 20 people, consumers directly, right? because we have a KYC करके हमने एक कल्चर बनाया हुआ शुरू से बना हुआ हम लोग बात करते थे तो आज भी सब लोग बात करते हैं तो हमें इतनी अमेजिंग फीडबैक्स मिलते हैं फिर उनसे पूछते हैं आपने ये चीज सोशल मीडिया में डाली है आपने रिव्यूज में क्यों नहीं पोस्ट किए अरे वो टाइम ही नहीं मिला right? पर जिसका भी कुछ भी जरा सा भी नेगेटिव एक्सपीरियंस किसी का ट्यूब थोड़ा टूटा हुआ मिल गया right? अरे वो वन स्टार डाल के इतनी गालियाँ डालते हैं कि मतलब उतना टाइम हम लोग पॉजिटिव बात करने के लिए नहीं लगाते राइट आई थिंक हम इस मामले में एक दूसरे की तारीफ करने में भी थोड़ा हिचकिचाते हैं वी डोंट गिव अप्रिसिएशन टू ईच अदर एज मच वी डोंट गिव ग्रेटिट्यूड टू ईच अदर एज मच रहन बट वेन इट कम्स टू एंगर रहन वो वी आर फर्स्ट वन मेरा ऑर्डर क्यों लेट है जोमैटो का रहन एट्सेट्रा रहन वो आता है तो कोई थैंक यू नहीं बोलता रहन इतना फॉर ग्रांटेड हम लेते हैं चीज़ों को कि बस ये तो लाइक बट कमिंग बैक आई थिंक hence word of mouth in general in the construct society or and i don't know if it is limited to us as a culture or outside we same cheez hai but ye hard hai right that in hence jo humne ye 700 800 um you know uh, mothers that we chose right were all active on social on media. web in yeah, some way or that at that point of time it used to be blogs so there were no instagrams there were no vlogs mm. it was blogs so Correct. the the articles Text. that people yeah. used to write right and when we chose them and they became a part of i would call it brand building and product formulation etc they started spreading the word organically there because now they had something which was yeah. very new nobody had ever talked about being a part of any brand's journey from the scratch to the launch so when we launched the brand these moms actually felt that they have launched a brand yeah, and that. that was the pride and happiness that they had wow. and they have continued with us from there even today they are a part of us but their kids are much older but their kids are much older but they have also now they have the entire beauty and personal care category to explore and check and test and even like we also make mistakes if if any of our product quality is not good and any of these Uh, people get to use it they will they will be the first ones to come back to us saying you know what gazal and they can reach out to me directly this is not working we're not happy and that's the first place of feedback where we where we ensure that in se agar pass nahi hua na to koi point hi nahi hai isko market mein le jaane ka it will not work Correct. bring it back the filter was very quick yeah. but again articulating the insight mothers trust other mothers over and else yeah. and then doing what you did It's a, it's a non-trivial effort, by the way. Seven hundred people to talk is seven hundred hours. Yeah. No. Yes. We we live in what a sixty hour week situation. How much work can you do? That's yeah. like that's that's. So we are talking about yes. that time we were living in a what a hundred hour to one twenty hour week situation. Me, me, ko din ka pata hai. We were sleeping for only four hours, uh-huh. and, and that time we had a young baby, one and a half year old. We were working because we were working with Made Safe. 
उनका टाइमिंग वॉज एब्सोलूटली ऑपोजिट सो द टाइम दैट वी हैव टू स्लीप दे इट यूज टू बी डे राइट एंड सो वहाँ पे हम बात काम करते थे रात को एंड इधर हम बात काम करते थे विद इन इंडिया वी यूज टू वर्क ड्यूरिंग द डे सो वी यूज टू हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ टाइम लाइन एंड वी यूज टू ऑल्टरनेटली टेक टर्न बिकॉज द बेबी डेन स्लीप ऑल थ्रू द नाइट So like so now it's you company, <laughs> and being young parents and both of you doing it together. Yeah. It was crazy. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> Telling you I still I love that time and energy whatever like we we loved it. Yeah. Bachcha bhi theek bada ho gaya. Bahut acha bada ho gaya. Although uh, credit where there is due of course this was also possible because we had our parents. Yeah. Uh I think we हम अप्रिशिएट नहीं करते इंडिया में ये कितना बड़ा अमेजिंग कल्चरल एडवांटेज है हमारे पास एंड वी लुक एट यू नो आउटसाइड एंड वी ट्राई कॉपी ओके लाइक कॉलेज जाने पे बाहर चले जाना या मतलब अलग रहना शुरू कर देना एंड बट बॉस इससे बड़ा कल्चरल एडवांटेज रेन जो है ना मतलब है नहीं बींग टूगेदर एज अ फैमिली हैविंग वैल्यू सिस्टम राइट ऑफ अ फैमिली बींग सो Uh, and like we've been lucky right that our parents uh, they were actually living in delhi at that time hum gurgaon rehte the and when we took this decision and uh, be clearly went in like communicated submitted aapko hamara dhyan rakhna hai agle 6 mahine we will not any money kya probably any money we are testing this new thing and for parents it's very difficult right you both are thriving in what you're doing you yeah. have such a safe lifestyle Life, you've yeah. built it to a certain aspirational level giving all of that up to say hum apna kuch shuru kar rahe hain wo dono saath karenge ha ha right to hamara to dhyan rakho hi rakho we also have a one and a half year old uska bhi dhyan rakho <laughs> take care of everything but the fact that they were they were welcoming and they took up even at like they were at the age of getting retired yeah. and putting all of that pressure on them we told them we said we'll take one and a half two years to figure this out if it doesn't go well we'll come back yeah we will go back to our jobs and you guys were you all four parents were in in, in delhi no uh, her parents were in chandigarh okay chandigarh yeah. so but close enough i think hmm? it's a four hour drive so like, right? yeah i've seen both sides of it yeah. so the part one of starting the business was when we were living in gurgaon and they were in delhi uh-huh. and i had to manage work and baby together uh-huh. and the second part was when they st- came with us and we started living together and my life changed <laughs> my know. life changed uh like usse pehle to mujhe kaam karna bhi nahi chuka <laughs> our life changed but i see for you know. me that <laughs> no, 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 no 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 i i i why i said uh, my life changed because usse pehle when the baby was home and we were living alone i used to work from home aha i never came to office ha but matlab agar teri life theek nahi hai to meri zyada achhi nahi rehti hai <laughs> fyi <laughs> yeah yeah that, that's a point to be taken note but after that once we started living with them and i went to office for the first month like working from office is so easy yeah. i had such a fresh breath of air yeah. i said yahan to aap baith ke bilkul focus ho ke kaam ke bare mein soch sakte when you are at home you're thinking baby you're thinking work you also know that you have to manage this lunch etc etc and everybody else also thinks ye to ghar se kaam kar rahi hai so she is not as busy as the person in office right yeah. there are so many biases linked to that so working from office was such a blessing yeah. <laughs> it and is so easy tab tak covid bhi nahi hua tha so like this is 2016 we are talking about right so before of the brand launch right yeah. there was almost 6 7 yeah. months which went into just construction of the brand and then the whole product development yeah, content yeah, yeah. all of that this is that time Um, But having your parents live with you is a blessing. I They know. are a blessing. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. can't emphasize enough on. We can't imagine uh, our lives if that uh, yeah. wouldn't happen. Yeah, I mean, entrepreneurship, think... especially in a very intense. Do you guys have run an intensely fast scaling company? You know, in terms of people, scale, products, everything, right? I think it. it I also feel like stress. You know, you you speak about this in, like. Interesting. I think stress is a function of, not a function of how much work you have to do. Fundamentally, I don't think, I don't think that building an FMCG business is a very high intellectual uh, work in terms of you don't do rocket science, yeah. but it is complicated because of the number of context switches our minds have to make. 
So you have to think about marketing. So mm -hmm. when constructing the brand, it's a very different mindset compared to sales. Very different mindset compared to product. Very different mindset from everything else. So now context switching me. Now ये तो company की बात होगी. फिर आप you're a mom. Yeah. You have to context switch to like home and yeah. your parents and how the child is doing. Then you have to context switch to your, like people in the US. Oh, why does she only have to context switch? No, I'm joking. I also <laughs> have to context switch. Why is this bias? Why is this bias? With, with parenthood and your, your brand is testament to it. I think uh. mother, I think biologically would be... But this come. refers to mother earth. <laughs> वो तो ह्यूमन रेस का बायस है जिसकी हम मतलब एक्चुअली ड्रू राइट अगर पूरी ह्यूमन रेस का ही बायस है बायस है कि हम अर्थ को मदर अर्थ बुलाते हैं फादर अर्थ नहीं बुलाते तो कहीं ना कहीं तो मच मच कॉन्टेक्स एक आल्सो आई थिंक दैट्स व्हाई कंडीशनली यू सी मैनेजमेंट स्टाइल्स ऑफ � तो उन उन्होंने ज़्यादा क्या होगा? नहीं वो तो यार of course आता है। I am not not denying that, but ऐसा नहीं है कि हम सोचते नहीं हैं बच्चों के बारे में। हम नहीं बाप भी मतलब सोच रहा है ये बारे में। अभी मैं उनका class check कर रहा हूँ मेरे बच्चे की football class है। नहीं नहीं यार I think after the I think after six months I am not a parent but I am a junior। So I tell you I'll tell you the difference। For example our journey as parents right and we have a nine year old and we also have a two year old। So we have we have seen how the journey and how the role of parents changes over time. So when the baby is young and the mother has just delivered, the mother is undergoing significant changes biologically, Correct. mentally. Also, there is a new being that you have to take care of. And you know that everything, go, like whatever goes right and wrong with the baby, you are responsible for it, right? So at that point of time, I think zero to four years is where the mother takes step one. There are more responsibilities attached to her, be it breastfeeding, be it being with the child, be it emotional connect. While fathers can take a back seat. Okay. But now when Agastya has grown up, I see his interaction with Varun no, is no. far more, yeah. right? Be it, for example, football buff and conversations around that or the matches or the kind of shoes that they want or the kind of sneakers that they Like they relate with each other on interests more. way more. And I can take a little bit of back seat. My involvement with my two-year-old is it's still very deeper. high, which I'm... Hoping it'll <laughs> come down to you <laughs> after four, five years. I'm but cool. I think we have, as parents, mother and father has very different roles. It's balanced over a wider age group, uh, uh, band, right? Very so when you just but limit it to the first three or four years, then of course the mother is doing much more. Oh. It's okay. No, but like I would, I would again be on uh, this war, and I don't want anyone to sort of, you know assume that they have lesser role as a father and hence not do as much. I mean, and hence show up. Because you did. Show up, right? I mean, like, you know, in your paternity leave, whatever long it is, right? Make sure your, like, wife is resting as much as possible and you're doing all the heavy lifting, right? Take up the diaper change duties for the night. Zero to six months for both the kids. I didn't change a single diaper. He was the one doing that, right? Of course, I did it during the day when you were not around. But otherwise, if he was around, I wouldn't change no, that. No. He wanted me to rest. And I think that is also such a, like, when you don't have to ask for it and you get it, yeah. it is such a blessing yeah. that somebody is taking care of you resting well, yeah. you recovering so that you can do more yeah. once this phase is I was over. operating as a CEO, yeah. My best, best talent. <laughs> like I want her back and like firing as fast as possible, right? Otherwise, how do you run an organization, right, without your best talent? Whatever. You're very clear. How do I you do that? In general, if you start thinking like that as a CEO for all your employees, I think we will do a big favor, yes. right? Completely. Because they are your best talent. They need to come back as fast as possible, and hence, you know, sometimes do whatever it takes no, to complete. get there. I, so, Rahul, I don't know. I have interacted with Rahul Chaudhary at at uh, Tribo and then Matrix. I know. Right. So Rahul has a very interesting view. He says, Kiyar, entrepreneurs are like athletes, elite mm -hmm. athletes. Mm -hmm. And elite athletes perform for like an hour a week uh -huh. when they play football. Like yeah. For example, if you're a Manchester United elite athlete, yeah. you're playing one hour or 90 minutes a mm -hmm. week. Yes. But the rest of the time, you are going to therapy, ma massages, rest best nutrition, everything is measured and training be uh, big time. Yeah, but big time, right? Big yeah. time and everything is measured. So yeah. I think you have to think about your team members in the same way, which is 
ही डज दैट रियली वेल डे वन से मतलब एक तो हम मिडिल क्लास बैकग्राउंड से आते हैं तो वैसे ही लाइक यू हैव दैट बजट एंड यू नो दैट यू हैव टू सफाइज इन दिस एंड दैट दैट थिंकिंग राइट कि इसमें से भी बचा लो कुछ इट कम्स वेरी नेचुरली टू आस्ट राइट सो फ्रॉम डे वन आई रिमेंबर आई वॉज इन एज इन फॉर्म बट आई सॉ हिम टेकिंग डिसीजन बेसिस आर वाई ऑन ईच एंड एवरी पेनी that went out from the company i heard about this about you guys a lot and i have learned it from him so for example if you're doing any form of marketing how do you measure it if you're if you're working with influencers how do you measure the return through each and every person you're working with yeah how do you take more informed calls i i learned that thoda sa dar gaya tha right jo kyunki because hum log matlab jaise elite talent aur top talent ki baat kar rahe the then तो तो एकदम से वो पैसे से ही मान गए मैंने और वो हम उससे पहले प्रेगनेंसी बच्चे की बात कर रहे थे राइट तो मुझे लगा ये क्या बोलने वाले पहले छह महीने में कहाँ पैसे काट रहा था मैं राइट कौन सी जिंदी चोरी कर रहा था जिसकी बात कर रही थी ये बट बाय द ऑन दैट नोट आई थिंक व्हाट यू गाइस हैव गॉटन राइट एंड आई वांट टू काइंड ऑफ गो डीपर ऑन दिस इज यू गाइस वर एक्सट्रीमली पीएनएल फ्रूगल आई रिमेंबर फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग सुपर लाइक सुपर इंडेक्स्ड ऑन मार्जिन प्रोफाइल एक्सपेंशन ऑफ मार्जिन व्हिच कम्स फ्रॉम यू नो दिस काइंड ऑफ But you guys have also been extremely inorganically active, which for a young company is not easy mm. to go and acquire brands and you know do it the which requires long term thinking and a courage, capital yeah. courage that is rare. It and you can't like a person who is frugal on every ten rupees yeah. to go and put out a hundreds of crores buyout for a company which might is you doing both together is damn hard. But see, being frugal is one uh. and. investing in something which you believe is another thing yeah. right anything where you feel that this is very core to me you're looking at it and you're realizing yaar ye paanch cheeze karungi i can scale this these are the things that i think that vision but that's it, very different mind yeah so it is no doubt mindsets. about it right i mean um honestly the frugality comes naturally mm-hmm. right? from from like she said right middle class background right oh लाइक like, बचपन से ही बजट के ऊपर पैदा हुआ है राइट एंड फ्रुगैलिटी इन माई माइंड इज ऑल्सो नॉट लाइक एटलीस्ट द वे वी लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन इट विद इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑल्सो इज फ्रुगैलिटी इज बेस्ट डिफाइंड बाय द एनोलॉजी ऑफ हाउ इंडिया बाइज ग्रोसरीज आप किसी भी तबके से आते हो यू माइट बी द रिचेस्ट यू माइट बी द पोरस्ट यू विल ऑलवेज हैगल and after arriving at the right price per kg you will still ask for the dhaniya mirchi as addition correct right it doesn't mean you are not buying the vegetable that you want to eat mm. you are buying it right? but you are getting and extracting the max maximum value of it. correct ki yaar mujhe iska best mujhe chahiye ye right mm. mujhe like if you need if your brand needs a certain investment or a certain service it needs it right that's the right decision right frugality doesn't making take mean taking a wrong decision hmm. right it doesn't mean you don't do what you need to do I mean, but it means ki yaar uske liye tum handle karke best cost figure out karo sabse pehle chote se chote scale pe shuru karo taki tum dekh pao usko kaise better karna hai right aur uske baad bhi value add mango ki yaar acha ye itna cost to ho gaya but ye kuch do tin cheeze free mein kar do at least time to that in our mind is frugal behavior right and like i said that comes very naturally because of correct the middle class upbringing that we have right I think the other piece of courage is is probably more investor driven. I think the other piece about courage and being able to take bold calls like acquisitions and I think that part is more trained and and it did not come naturally, right? Wo wo getting investors on board and people who have spent some time in the industry right who can then guide you that that there are multiple ways of growth right of course organic is one and right, where you can build and grow organically right but inorganic is not a wrong yeah. you know path to growth as well right. right and in fact most amazing example of inorganic growth is louis vuitton right i mean lvmh in fact in the name L V and M H Louis Vuitton and Moet Hennessy Correct. and both are required brands Correct. and it started with you know Chanel as as yeah. the sorry like uh, 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 Christian Dior Christian Dior Correct. right was the first 
brand uh, that that they bought right even that was not uh, crafted right? and all the brands are acquisitions right and like it's it's the largest consumer and the most valuable consumer business in the world or pura acquisitions pe banaya right? okay. so it is not like you know organic is a wrong strategy but it doesn't come naturally, naturally right and, and i think to most entrepreneurs it does not come naturally right? and in our case we started that journey only in 2021 mm-hmm. and by then our core was was in a very good place right i mean mama earth was already at a 700 800 crore arr at that point of time we, we had launched dermaco yeah. right dermaco had already sort of shown the early pmf right? in in active space it was a leader and it was doing decently well saal bhar mein i think we were already at like some 35 40 crore run rate and we were happy with the way the brand was shaping right and at that point of time is when our uh, board and our investors also started the conversation on hey this is one way to grow and we can see this as a path in corporate strategy but this is the other way to grow right? and um and that's when we started actively thinking about ki yaar ha matlab like let's mm-hmm. explore right? and 21 was a fairly you know risk environment i would say right yeah. everyone was it was a party right to thoda sa aise bhi lag raha tha ki bhai sare party kar rahe hain hum to party pe jaye nahi nahi because you remember kya ho raha tha us time mein right they were like these aggregators who were coming in and like at one point of time hame lagna shuru ho gaya tha shayad hame nahi milani aati company to matlab baaki unko aati hogi right to tabhi jo brand wala like house of brand bahut old concept hai right unilever the unilever the house of brand png is house of brand humne b school mein padha yaar kitabon mein padha ki do strategy hoti hai branded house strategy house of brand strategy nestle is a branded house unilever is house of brands right so that was a very 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 simple principled way an fmcg company is built which is ki aapki kuch core competencies hain aapko marketing karni aati hai aapko sourcing aati hai aapko jo hai distribution channel bana liya hai aapne aapki relationships hain customers ke sath and now using these pipelines you can actually take share in multiple propositions and multiple categories and that's the basic house of brands right but the whole roll up system mm-hmm. where which was by the way if you go back and read 60s mein america mein conglomerate mm-hmm. wave aayi thi right? okay. 9 years right na, companies were skyrocketing yeah. on nasdaq valuations okay. right na, who were conglomerates and okay. they were from like from railroad to insurance to consumer products to ice cream same company sab mein usri right na, and we believe like, 9 years later it was a massive bust yeah. right na, and like parts parts mein biki and very very massive value dilution happened right na, and suddenly like we were feeling here ye kya ho raha hai matlab itne sare wo ban rahe and lot of acquisitions were happening and people were so ek thoda wo bhi chal raha tha ki bhaiya matlab like it also seems that uh, this is the uh, new era right and you also need to demonstrate that strength right yeah. the only argument which we were convinced with was ki yaar one has to be able to check for this muscle as well ऑर्गेनिक ब्रांड बिल्डिंग ये मसल हम देख चुके हैं हम टेस्ट कर चुके हैं हम और भी बना रहे हैं हम कॉन्फिडेंट है उस मसल पे दिस इज अ डिफरेंट मसल राइट किसी और का ब्रांड मिक्स लेके उसको ऑब्जॉर्ब करके उसको बिल्ड करना बट अगर आप ये मसल बिल्ड कर सकते हो ये डेमोन्स्ट्रेट कर सकते हो दैट यू हैव दिस मसल इट कैन जेन्यूनली क्रिएट अ वेरी लॉन्ग नेरेटिव ऑफ हाउ योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैन कंटिन्यू टू ग्रो So I think that was the most important thing which convinced us that we have to do a few of these experiments. A um, couple of them we did three in total, and right? two of them have done phenomenally well. Right? Which one? The third was the content company that we had acquired, so, Mom's Press. Huh. Beblunt. Beblunt. Yeah. And Mom's Press. Mom's Press. Oh, correct. Yeah. correct. Mom's Press was the was the community. Was community the content too? Yes. Ah, uh-huh, so not just a community. It was a more of a. Um, content platform it had influencer platform more than 100000 nano influencers which were working with that and things like that mm-hmm. right, which was servicing different brands and companies right um and uh, that also we had made the acquisition similar to for example the subsidiary that you are building and which is open to working with all, all brands companies and brands right and they run as an independent uh, company right, right. in this case also that was that the case in your case you built it organically so you don't have you know um wo jo 
lump sum of investment that you do in acquiring an asset, that problem is not there, right? Uh, but in that case, we had bought, right? Uh, and when you buy something, you also attach a certain valuation to it, right? That valuation is built on a certain model of um, how it will grow and, you know, add cash flow, right, over the years. And every year, you're supposed to do something called uh, impairment test, right? which is ki aap ne agar assumptions assume ki thi right na us assumption ke against how is the asset doing right? mm. and if the asset is doing much worse off right na, you're supposed to take so because mm. most of these acquisitions mein like 70 80% value jo na goodwill mein aati hai because you're not buying assets right mm. you're not buying capex right you're not buying like a plant or something yeah. right you're buying goodwill correct mm. and goodwill ka impairment test hota hai har saal right so if you are performance of your acquisition doesn't do well, this is just theoretical now, but if the performance of your acquisition doesn't do in line with how you've run, so every year impairment test me, then you have to take a PNL hit, mm. which is equivalent to the goodwill correction. Correct. Right? And it can be a very heavy PNL hit. It yeah. happened to you guys, like you have to explain it at some point, no? Uh, so, 23 right, uh. is when, so for example, 23, our business is actually profitable. Correct. Right? But, um, we actually, we had done this acquisition in 22 early uh-huh. right? and by 23 mid we realized this was not something that strategically makes sense for us. Right? While the brand's business, we have the right to be in uh-huh. right? and that's the business we want to build. Right? Ye business like, we didn't understand how to make it long term, how much management bandwidth should we be dedicating to it, what is the return that we are seeing on that bandwidth, how is this, you know, synergistically the right business to be in right? and after trying a lot of experiments we figured this is not something which is what we see ourselves building five years down the line and we decided we want to like we want to roll back right? and that roll back right, meant we had to then completely revise the expectations that would be there in the future right of the revenue from that business right? Which meant in that year itself, right, we discounted it and kind of we took, the took impairment of all the goodwill that was there, and that was, impairment was more than a hundred crores, right? So uh, we had to take that impairment into uh, PNL. PNL, yes, in one year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So which is why from a positive uh-huh. PNL it became a negative PNL, and so we actually lost money. But thi. you know what? What what was the learning out of this entire thing of acquiring two brands doing really well, one not doing well? was the fact that anything that you're able to replicate your playbooks on, which comes to you as a core strength, Actually, yeah. is something that you should invest in and double down on. Because you you can clearly see that yeah, the same playbooks worked on this, this, now we have three brands that yeah. it worked on, right? It'll also work on the fourth and fifth. And then you just do that. Anything which is outside of your core competency, and you try and acquire it and then figure it out how to make it work, can be a might not be as successful as some of yeah. the yeah. other yeah. I completely agree with you. Like we, for example, we are a, three of us are operate in the product business. Yeah. If we have a bitch, we will be able to Broadly, we product be able to do it. Broadly. My view is that yeah. unlike, for example, a loan, <laughs> where the sale is where the engagement starts. Yeah, fair. And recovering the money back and customer Jee. service, ah, etc. Right. The product business right. is broadly right. like. You put a lot of effort in making the yeah, product, yeah. finding the inside, mm. marketing it, mm. putting it on the shelf. Yes. Customer buys it and then mm. bathroom mein, aapka role kam hota hai, product ka role jada hota. Fair. Lekin humne fir wo chalo kiya, we started, under Bombay we started laser clinic, mm. which mm. for us was a great idea. Yeah. But we just realized ki sale ke baad, wahan pe wo machine achhi le ke nahi, wo yeah, yeah. thik se mm. baat kar de raha, thousand okay. touch points in a service business. Okay. So, a DNA which is product, mm. a product very difficult. To work, like recreate it in a service environment yeah. was very much harder than yeah. we had imagined. Mm. Yeah. And content is like that in my view. Content is a, yeah, yeah. like you're also learning it. Yeah. Absolutely. So A, damn hard to monetize. B, it's a very different DNA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very different. And yeah. predictability is far lower. Same product right. business. Same right. uh, product business, mein like certain predictability aa jati over time, right? You have a simple business, like you said, right? It's about mental awareness, physical, you know, availability, right? Up over time, if you have a good product and a reasonably good RTBE point of difference, you just have to continue to build brand awareness and mental structures. This is what your brand stands for. This is what your product does. Right? This is why you should buy. Right? And 
सम डिस्टिंगटिव एसेट्स की लोगो या मतलब जैसे आप जो आप बोलते हो या लाइन आप बोलते हो ओवर टाइम लोगों के दिमाग में छपता रहता है एंड इट डज नॉट रिड्यूस इट सीलियंस कैन रिड्यूस बट अवेयरनेस तो अब तो जब पता चल गया मामार्थ है और ये करता है पर्सनल केयर में है राइट ना उस लेवल की अवेयरनेस नहीं कम होती विच इज़ वाई एफ एम सी जी बिजनेस एंड प्रोडक्ट बिजनेस आर सो लॉन्ग लास्टिंग इन नेचर राइट ना बिकॉज देर इज़ अ सर्टन लेवल ऑफ अवेयरनेस विच लास्ट राइट ना सीलियंस कैन बी अप डाउन राइट ना बट अवेयरनेस लास्ट करती सीलियंस का मतलब मैं आज पूछूँ तेरे से विच आर द टॉप थ्री रेजर ब्रांड्स दैट यू नो ऑफ राइट ये आंसर जो है ये हर छह महीने चेंज हो सकता है करेक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द अमाउंट ऑफ नॉइज दैट यू क्रिएटिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ बस दैट यू क्रिएटिंग राइट सम ब्रांड कैन अंटर एंटर योर टॉप थ्री बकेट एट वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम राइट छह महीने बाद वो निकल भी सकता है हाँ बट आप उसको दिखाओगे कि यार ये ब्रांड पता है क्या करते हैं राइट उसको अवेयर है तो वो बताएगा मतलब ये करता है राइट दैट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई द फैक्ट दैट In general, your distribution and availability, if you keep putting in effort, continues to go up. अगर सेम भी रहे वो और अवेयरनेस भी सेम में रहे तो देर इज अ सर्टन प्रेडिक्टेबिलिटी करेक्ट राइट दिस मल्टीप्लाइड बाई दिस आपका एक बिजनेस हर महीने एक लेवल पर आता रहता है ऑन द अदर हैंडेंट देर इज नो प्रेडिक्टेबिलिटी देर इज नो सेट फॉर्मूला यू कैन लाइक and in this case though it is not even because you are serving multiple clients correct and there the formula even goes down correct. if you are single for example i'm sure for your podcast you've double clicked and understood ki yaar ye art cheeze kaam karti correct and more often than not mm-hmm. wo equation aur better hoti rahegi and you will probably be sharper with that and still you would have some uh, you know exceptions but what do you mean but when you are doing that for let's say 100 different customers correct. brands and clients right वहाँ पे तो आप सेट फॉर्मूला भी नहीं बना सकते एंड एवरी बेट इज एब्सोल्यूटली डिफरेंशियल सो आई थिंक सम ऑफ दोज पीसेज इज वेर बी टू माई आर्ट बिकॉज आई पेंट द वे यू क्रिएट पेंटिंग्स और द वे यू इमेजिन इट वर्स इज वॉट इट कम्स आउ कैन एक्चुअली बी वेरी डिफरेंट एंड द सक्सेस रेट एक्चुअली डिपेंड्स ऑन द मूड दैट यू आर इन हाउ एंड ग्रॉस डाई यू यू कैन प्रिडिक्ट वॉट्स यू मेक टेन पेंटिंग्स यू माइट एट द एंड जस्ट लाइक टू सो कॉन्टेंट दैट्स आई थिंक दैट्स वॉट यू ट्राइंग हाँ मतलब and i'm relating into the point that i said ki hence wo especially in an inorganic right i mean you have to have to do kya hota but ideally right you should do it in areas which are very core to you and where you have very strong muscle right? yeah. um and in fact globally beat lbmh l'oreal is another example right who have done a beautiful job of inorganic globally right yeah. and wo simple strength ke sath karte hain the playbook is you acquire a mix which you are 100% sure you can scale globally correct yahan se uthaoge 100 deshon mein bech paoge to you will be able to create value out of that acquisition right so and hence very core right? on the other hand this wasn't core right? and aapko koi bhi non core experiment karna hai right to ideally organically right mm. ya fir do a small sort of you know probably an investment in c right ki how that non core is doing right and if you find it to be interesting Probably then figured. But again, that's the thing. Like I've seen promoters of you know old scale businesses who are now in the you know tens of thousands of yeah. crores in value. Lot of like factories yes. and those those promoters were able to figure out this frugality versus hmm. courage, risk appetite. I remember talking to one of my clients at McKinsey, and he was a first generation entrepreneur whose father was a medical distributor, and he has built out one of India's largest pharma companies. Wow. So very organically hmm. focused. बट एक एक रनिंग बट एक एक रुपया गिनते थे वहाँ पे एंड दैट्स हाउ देवर सेल अलॉट ऑफ दर जेनेटिक्स अब्रॉड दैट वी वेरी पर्टिकुलर अबाउट दर कॉस्ट स्ट्रक्चर एंड सो ऑन बट वेन यू केम टू एक्विजिशन लाइक इन लाइक सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड को इन इंडिया एंड सो ऑन राइट एंड समथिंग लाइक राइट एंड आई रिमेम्बर आस्किंग हिम की This is a lot of shareholder wealth you're putting on the table, mm. with a view to the future, which is yeah. honestly done by your bankers and consultants and your own sense. Ki how much you'll get back? Like, ha, yeah, I mean, I think three to five percent ka question hota hai idhar udhar, but how many three to five percent is also like a few thousand crores, dude? Like, he like, ha, if if I if I'm not able to take these bets at this at this level, yeah, then who will? What? What? I mean, like. 
boldest boldest call make the greatest companies are boldest calls but it's very hard to marry these two things it's damn hard like i've always but i think you will have a different kind of risk appetite at different stages mm, in your life right, right? so for example when you or us we would have started up our risk appetite was very low Correct. but it was still a very big risk for us that yeah. we took at yeah. that point of time okay. as we are now going forward that risk appetite is increasing but still at that point of time it feels yeah. like oh my god i've put everything on the table yeah. right i yeah. right also i think you know, if i were thinking out loud we are the same consumer who will want that dhania mirch yeah. or that extra but when we are buying uh, you know a million dollar home or a 10 crore ka ghar like the fact that we are getting it early will be like take one or two percent here or there doesn't matter it's a house and it's a big so i think the same consumer behaves differently uh on different different i mean so you know humne to ghar ghar ki to bhi aise hi kiya hai ye ghata do tab charge ho jata ho hata do right ye kyun le rahe ho right mummy chal rahi hai let me put it directly as direct as it gets gaadi kharidte ho aap keh rahe ho aap mercedes ke showroom mein ja ke negotiation nahi karoge of course karoge yaar ke dealer discount to sabka haq hi banta hai the last gaadi different but ghar for example house where there is sometimes a supply constraint sometimes mm. you feel like the house yeah. might go to someone else it's an asset for the future car i agree with you car is more a that's the emotional decision right ah. and then emotions are emotions and yeah. mahan to fir koi your conscious doesn't work no so yeah. i can imagine yeah. but tell me a little bit about about the like about the journey from you know from getting to 700 800 crore arr making your first acquisition and then through covid it was How was COVID for you guys? COVID was very fundamentally structural for us because we went from like two to two to twenty yeah. post COVID. Like we were like floundering around trying to figure out bunch of things. But I think you guys post COVID or during? You mean twenty twenty one to twenty twenty three? Yeah. Got it. Those, those uh, two three years were very good. Twenty twenty was the uh, COVID. Twenty yeah. twenty yes. March was COVID, right? Ah. In Pehla Long. Correct. Mm-hmm. So we did a lot of things. We actually kind of we followed you guys. as a men's grooming company and we did we followed you guys a little stupidly in the sense that we launched a lot of sub categories humko laga tha usme depth milega hum mm. hair oil body washes soaps beard we launched like a lot but in men we were not able to find depth in these sub categories mm. as a new company mm. we were not able to, for whatever reason we were not able to find the kind of depth you guys found uh, market size pakad lo ya fir hamara shaving ki wajah se mm. ability to kind of transcend into different yeah. so covid in what actually reducing and concentrating our right. focus on hair removal so that is what kind of led to a lot of growth but for you guys how is covid for you guys and to get from there to you know to to your ipo numbers etc how was that journey in terms of what did you do differently calling 800 moms versus now running like a more large so the number keeps increasing <laughs> every year <laughs> <laughs> that number would be around 1500 right now not yeah. just limited to moms but Now the set personally, that represents. Personally, you do it personally. Ah, uh, Hanjin. You like you personally are talking to fifteen hundred moms as well. I am no. Now I have a team ah. who talks to them, but ah. I ensure that I personally talk to at least fifty consumers every month. So that ah. stays a constant. Right. I ensure that I'm listening to what these fifteen hundred people are saying Same. every single month. So that is also a constant. My direct interaction would might. might be once in a quarter hmm. where we are open we have a one hour of q and a anybody can ask any kind of questions share their feedback talk about anything that they have that stays constant but yeah because now there are the responsibilities increase so you have to sort of balance it Correct. out um i think covid while it was an unfortunate period for us also business wise turned out to be really good mm-hmm. and i think you can talk about the business part Ooh, of it yeah. but go ahead uh, talk about it the attitude that we had once covid struck us actually made a i would say made a lot of difference which Can led to this journey so 23rd march is when covid hit us the first lockdown the first Ooh. day and you can see the numbers which were going up 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 every month starting to decline decline yeah. and then also come to almost negligible zero you because were, yeah where of yeah, you were, and you didn't show you're wondering what's happening and what's going to happen and you can't even predict the future yeah i think for 2 3 days we said this is happening to everybody it's also happening to us hum to kya kar sakte hain okay quite it pinches you right in the heart that what's going on how do we figure this out and i remember varun and i had this conversation saying beko worst case pe baithe isse kharab to nahi ho sakta 
the only thing we can do is try and figure it out so he actually went to and us time pe there were these uh, special meetings that were being held that they were ca- categorizing you know, what's essential, essential and what's non essential <laughs> and hence what do we give permission to and what do we not give because aapke saath wala kirana store was also closed everything okay. was closed uh, so he said i'm going to attend all of these meetings and i'm going to try and have a conversation because baby care baby yeah. range especially is essential why yeah. should a baby not get the products Correct. of choice and be forced to use products that they don't want to use that's not okay matlab you don't give us permission on anything else but baby portfolio we need the permission and he went to this police station where the meeting was happening with a few so there were all medical folks who wanted um you know permission to deliver grocery folks who wanted food delivery uh, people that yeah. people are in different st- stress situations so give us and waha pe like i'm i'm taking yeah, it away please, from please, you please. but he was a part of huh. that meeting and he sat silently throughout the meeting because of course everybody had more important party. agendas to take care of and towards the end of it when he also said that we needed baby care etc unhone jitne log room mein baithe the na sabko permission de di to deliver essentials and they all got categorized in essentials and because we were there because he was there yeah, yeah. we also got the permission yeah. so at that point of time we actually learned the importance of just showing, showing up. up yeah just because we showed up we got that permission to deliver to open our warehouse to get back on our feet and uh, that was such an encouragement uske baad we doubled down yeah. we said we are going to ensure that we are able to deliver the orders etc etc so that graph which was going down started moving up a little and after that working from home as well right like people were so stressed at that point of time and then you're not meeting fellow people or sharing any kind of good news we started doing these video calls with our team just to engage have like sessions like booze not business with them mm. online right so we are just sharing what's happening with our life etc and the team also got energized to take on more because they were sitting at home everybody was getting bored you cannot do anything else so why not rather spend time here i think that is what i leave the business part to you Ooh. but that's what set us off during that time and i think the the second thing that we probably which is what gazal was referring to attitude right i mean um one was attitude of just showing up right yeah. uh you know so underrated oh it is it is heavy yeah, yeah, so under i think you know what you what you refer to as luck yeah. right? i would largely refer to as showing, showing up, up. Yeah. i think whenever i have shown up right and my luck has just increased <laughs> significantly <laughs> <laughs> there is a very high correlation between being lucky and showing up yeah. for stuff right i mean my mentor in mckinsey had told me and i'll, I'll let you come back to your point where he told me once there is very kind of some some clients or maybe either junior or maybe peripheral to the work or maybe not related at all but they want to have a conversation with someone i said is ja ke baat kar lo and i'm like yaar door like 10 km door yeah. they had three four offices in bombay jaunga aadha din mein so jayenge like what are you doing here that is more worthwhile than going and talking to this client what if there is something you learn here yeah. and i i still remember that distinctly that is so true because one in five instances there's a game changing conversation yeah. you are able to have like this absolutely one. Yeah. and it works out absolutely right and um i think the second big uh, attitude piece for us was see that was the there was a very in general conservative and pessimistic atmosphere correct right एक थिंकिंग जो थी वो इस चीज पे हो गई थी कि यार मतलब लाइक सिंग नो इज इजियर देन सिंग एस एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम राइट कंजर्व राइट एंड आई रिमेंबर वी हैड अ बोर्ड मीटिंग आई थिंक टूवर्ड्स मे एंड बाय देन हमने अप्रैल पांच को ये वाली मीटिंग थी ये वाली पुलिस स्टेशन वाली मीटिंग राइट तो वो पासेज मिल गए थे पचास असेंशियल्स पासेज राइट वो शाम को घर जाके तो है वी ऑर्गेनाइज लाइक अ टीम मीटिंग वर्चुअली एंड एंड वी कम्युनिकेट बॉस वी आर बैक यू नो एंड वी वी विल बी अलाउड टू नाउ ओपन वी हैव द असेंशियल पासेस वी कैन ओपन आर वेयर हाउसेज एंड वी कैन स्टार्ट टू ऑपरेट दिस इज व्हाट अप्रैल थर्टीन डेज आफ्टर लॉकडाउन पीपल फॉर गेट वी हैव फॉर कोविड सो क्विकली people forget what it was like yeah 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 it was like a, 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 a apocalypse on the road it was crazy empty tha yaar you can't even get out from your house on the road oh. because if a police constable is there they will find you yeah. right yeah. 
kids had such a difficult time. What do they do the entire day at home? And then, it was a very, like and just like moving to these sick in, your in your family, and you don't know how crazy can it get? Yeah. How scary I was mean, that? Yeah, so, like, <laughs> but I mean, uh, why? So going to these meetings and uh, or itself uh, uh, drive करके जा रहे हो and or मतलब um, at least सात आठ जगह आप रुके जाओगे mm. and or उन सात आठ जगह पे जो है वो फिर it is on an average a 10 minute conversation so matlab for a agar 12 baje meeting hai and aur aadha ghanta dur hi hai and to 2 ghante pehle nikalta hu and ki matlab yaar at least no traffic on the road ha at least डेढ़ ghanta to rukunga main and aur fir wahan khade ho ke unko convince karo meeting ka invite dikhao ji batao kis ke sath meeting hai kaun se acp ke office ja rahe ho kahan pe hai kyun ja rahe ho etc sara communicate karo badi mushkil se jaake fir wo matlab allow karte the re but coming back to that uh, that Uh, shift right in terms of attitude. I think the other thing that happened was कि वो जैसे पांच अप्रैल को खुल गया right? तो हमने ऑपरेट करना शुरू कर दिया राइट वी केम बैक टू समल इन अप्रिल राइट मे मे वी एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड सींग थिंग्स मूविंग मच फास्टर देन वी इमेजिन दम टू राइट बिकॉज उस मे में फिर सारे अमेजॉन फ्लिपकार्ट सब प्लेटफॉर्म्स वगैरह भी खुल चुके थे और सारे हमारी मोस्ट कैटेगरीज राइट इंक्लूडिंग आर पर्सनल केयर असेंशियल्स है शैम्पू फेस वॉश एट्सट्रा वर ऑल्सो कैन ऑफ यू नो फॉलोइंग इन नाउ असेंशियल्स विच द गवर्नमेंट वॉज अलाइंग थ्रू ई कॉमर्स तो एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वी स्टार्टेड सडनली सींग नंबर ऑफ पीपल कमिंग ऑनलाइन हैड जस्ट सिग्निफिकेंटली शॉर्ट आउट बिकॉज लाइक पीपल वर एट होम पीपल वर स्टिल लुकिंग फॉर प्रोडक्ट टाइम ज़्यादा था और फिजिकल एक्सेस बाहर जाने का था नहीं वो भी टाइम सेव हो रहा था जो मतलब आप ट्रैवल करते हो वो वाला एंड डिवाइस वर All around you, okay. and uh, thankfully, internet was <laughs> still very much. Right? Content so, consumption had, had like shot up. Had shot up. It took a lot of that. Yeah, it took a lot of that. You have so much time at yeah. your hand, whatever, and you have so little to talk about yeah. or interact because there are no stories yeah. which are getting created. You're saving right? so much money. You're saving money on fuel, yeah. holidays, yeah, yeah, yeah. restaurants, yeah. alcohol. All that money is getting saved. So, if you remember at that point of time. हम सब ने अपना खुद का ध्यान रखना अपने फैमिली मेंबर्स का ध्यान रखना भी वी हैड डायल दैट अप राइट वी सेड वी हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ आवर बॉडीज वील वर्क आउट वील स्लीप प्रॉपरली वील आल्सो डू स्किन केयर मोर वील आल्सो टेक केयर ऑफ सो आई थिंक दैट हैड सिग्निफिकेंटली शोन अप इन नंबर ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन दैट वर हैपनिंग ऑनलाइन एंड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ प्लेयर्स एड एक्चुअली मेलो डाउन सेंग के ये तो अनसर्टन पीरियड है कैश कंजर्व करेंगे where we decided to go aggressive and we said we will double down because consumers are consuming more content let's show them more content yeah. let's work even harder let's talk to them and understand them even more and those reflected in the number of yeah. transactions that were happening online as well but cliche hai but like wo mujhe bhi yaad hai board meeting ki pehli slide right was uh, art and sena ka uh, that uh, quote right which is that you can um you can overtake one car on a sunny day uh-huh. and, but you can overtake five to six cars on a rainy day <laughs> if you're bold enough wow and so i mean this was a rainy day right and we start by saying hey guys and it's raining yeah. and there are very few people who are going to take the risk right of pressing that paddle right and saying ki boss mere ko overtake karna hai and aur main double down marunga and, and we are in a situation right where we are doing well we have a certain scale and uh, this is and we are sitting on capital and if we don't take a risk it. now then what else you know no. would we do right so i think um and i would also kudos to our board right the set of investors that we had and the board that we had right i think there was no debate on this it was It was, I think everyone was also looking for some optimism, right? And mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. in general, you are listening to so many negative things. Right? There is no one who is coming to you and is showing hope. Right? Right. Saying that I am seeing a small light, right? That many people are coming to our website. Right? Many people are showing us that we are talking about content consumption. 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 Like, right. आप जितने की वो हजार इंप्रेशन खरीदते हो वो कॉस्ट राइट right? उससे सस्ते सीपीएम नहीं देखे इन दीज प्लेटफॉर्म आर क्लियरली टेलिंग अस बिकॉज नो बडी इज बिडिंग ऑल ब्रांड्स हैव पुल डाउन देयर मार्केटिंग बजट बिकॉज दे डोंट नो कि क्या दिखेगा क्या आएगा फिल रेट्स फिल रेट्स द गुड थिंग वॉज दिस हैपन इन मार्च एंड 
We were ready with our business plan for April. And we have four months of growth business plan. And from April, you have to clean a new clock starts and you have to sort of start hitting. Now we are sitting in March, now our annual business plan board meeting. And the whole organization is kicked for April. It means that new meter starts, new quarter starts, new billing and new year starts. Waiting for April to come in. Great start is like something which, and that is a DNA which has been there. So we were ready with a lot of inventory. क्योंकि हम लोग तो वो के लिए रेडी थे और उस टाइम की सेल्स नंबर से सोचो तो हमारे पास तो नौ ही महीने की इन्वेंटरी थी क्योंकि गिर गया था तो एनीवेज़ फ्रॉम आई इन्वेंटरी परस्पेक्टिव इवन नॉट वेल क्योंकि कि माल तो पढ़ा है इट इस जस्ट अबाउट सेल्स एंड आई थिंक दैट एटीट्यूड शिफ्ट रहने � so, I mean, from 12.5 to 33 crore during COVID, peak of COVID, lockdown, first lockdown, no understanding of how it was being managed. And like, it was crazy and like those CACs, they will never show God, I mean, they will never show God. But, it was so much CACs at that time, that the risk that we were talking about to our board was that at best it will be Increased loss inefficient. because yeah. inefficient hoga, uh, hamara thoda loss increase ho jayega, thoda burn increase ho for those three months. Right? That it was on third one mein profitable the. I mean, dono mein mein profitable the because like yeah. for our businesses, right? What are we finally doing, right? And this is, uh, I think, a very a conversation you'll be able to very well relate with, right? We are finally building brands, correct. and brands are built in the mind of a consumer. Wo kab build hoga? जब उसको पता चलेगा कि ब्रांड क्या है, ब्रांड अवेयरनेस, राइट? जब उसको पता चलेगा ब्रांड किस चीज के लिए स्टैंड करता है, ब्रांड का प्रोपोजिशन, राइट? और उसको जो है एक डिस्टिंक्टिवनेस ऑफ़ द ब्रांड समझ आ जाएगी, राइट? इन हेंस कोई फैक्ट्री वाला मैन्युफैक्चरिंग में इन्वेस्ट करता ह ये ब्रांड स्ट्रक्चर्स Hundreds of years of FMCG company history has showed how amazingly it pays off. The brands that are built and then you know generate cash for decades to come. तो हमारा काम तो finally वही। वो fly will बन जाता है। Yeah, right. तो वो अगर which is what we saw that time also when like the marketing was clutter free and वो and we had built it to a certain level वो एकदम से बंदा ही profitable हो गया and कोई वो भी so I think that mindset changed during COVID and you're right, a lot of it stays yeah. because you operated in a certain manner during those times and that success also, and the bold step that you took and you saw success makes the organization bolder. I agree. If you can do this at I think that also helped and in fact just during October, and we took a very different leap. जैसे अब जैसे तू कह रहा था ना कि वो DNA फिर अगर एक बार ऐसे वाले moment में especially अगर आप कुछ कर लो तो ना वो stick कर जाता है। तो अब वही हुआ right 2020 में ही by October and actually काफी unlock होना शुरू हो गया। I mean September में वो unlock 1.0 आ गया था and चीजें खोल दी थी malls खुल गए सब कुछ खुल गया right etc हो रहा था। but most companies को and especially बड़ी companies को and उतना time लग गया था e-commerce और online पे जाने को कि यार नहीं e-commerce online बहुत important है वहाँ जाते हैं वहाँ करते हैं वो सब करते हैं और उस time पे ना September October में सब ने अपना रुख वहाँ कर लिया कि यार e-commerce करना है online तो हमारी अगेन वो bold वाली thinking थी राइट तो हमने कहा भाई इस time पे all the retailers are feeling left out all large modern trade customers are feeling left out जो इन्वेस्ट कर रहा था विजिबिलिटी में जो ये कर रहा था राइट सब ने पुलबैक कर लिया इन वो सब कह रहे हैं भैया हमें ऑनलाइन में इन्वेस्ट करना है हमें कॉमर्स में करना है और आनी करना है तो हमने कहा यही ये वाली वो जो रेस पहले इकॉम में खेली थी राइट दिस इज़ द टाइम टू एक्चुअली टैप एंड � हमने और केवल ये अपोलो रहने ये हमने जो है उस टाइम बिल्ड किया सारा तीन महीने वी एक्चुअली डबल डाउन रहने एंड दैट वाज द स्टार्ट ऑफ मामा ऑफलाइन जर्नी और आज यू नो 
600 700 करोड़ के आसपास को तो हमारा ऑफलाइन बिजनेस है मामर्द का एंड दिस इज हैपेंड इन 3 इयर्स राइट 3 एंड हाफ इयर्स एंड इट स्टार्टेड इन कोविड व्हेन एवरीथिंग वाज क्लोज्ड एंड एवरीवन वाज नॉट डूइंग इट राइट तो हमने तब जो है वहां पर उसके एंड बिकॉज़ पीपल वर लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड कि यार हु कैन कम इन इन्वेस्ट विद अस एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वी नो वी आर डाउन एंड आउट एंड बट यू नो वी वुड एंड दोस दैट पेड ऑफ राइट बिकॉज़ व्हेन यू when you invest during these times mm-hmm. and when you partner during these times right people remember right? also you get good deals yeah of course you get good margin discussions you're able to get good you know visibility visibility raise sure, you know, the best thing was at least people were open to having conversations oh. yeah. otherwise for example aaj aap ek naya brand ho jiski yeah. limited awareness hai you go and tap into these offline retail store oh. nobody will listen to you yeah. they have enough with them enough people who are already investing they have success rates defined yeah. with them they wouldn't even give you your time yeah, that was the time when we when we got that opportunity ki yaar one on one conversation ho rahi hai baat ho rahi hai at least we are coming in the consideration zone Correct. from being no one to being someone and that also eventually paid oh, off it to i also feel it's about identifying that right time and right opportunity right. Showing right? Up, yeah. Showing when up, up, whatever yeah. we call luck yeah. it is luck it the, absolutely a hundred people work as hard as you do as we do right there is a little bit of luck but it is also identifying where is the success of that luck hitting hard like right. varun said absolutely uh, so for us it was a lot about the entire journey for that matter has been a lot of risk taking yeah. in the sense that if like, we feel i think like you know jaise shantanu bhi bol raha hai right i think wo showing up yeah. he is is a very simple and very relatable way of defining it yeah. right that risk taking bolu usko right उसको ओपनिंग मोर डोर्स रेड यू नो बोल लो यू नो कुछ भी बोल लो रेड आई थिंक शोइंग आप बड़ा इजी वे डिफाइन करने का उसको रेड कि अगर आप अगर आप बोल रहे हो यार मतलब लाइक मुझे नहीं पता होगा कि नहीं होगा रेड बट मैं जाऊंगा तो सही रेड मैं बैठूंगा तो सही रेड लाइक यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट मीन um ki you used to hear ki varun and gazal spend like hours on amazon etc right बहुत हम मीटिंग्स में नहीं बैठे थे उधर वेटिंग एरिया में बैठे चार चार घंटा रिसेप्शन में बैठते थे अमेजोन की चार चार घंटा हमें ये पता था कि कैटेगरी टीम किस फ्लोर में बैठती है चार चार घंटा रिसेप्शन से बैठ रहते थे और कई बार क्या होता था कि अब जैसे मेरे एक्स कलीग्स अमेजोन हिंदुस्तान से रहन तो वो कोई इधर उधर जाता हूँ मिल गया रहन तो उसको पकड़ लिया और उसको पूछा बुलाया कि क्या कर रहे हो कैसे कर रहे हो रहन उसको बुलाया यार बता दियो कहीं पे कुछ हेल्प हो सकती है किसी कोई समझा दे हमें कैसे कर सकते हैं रहन सिमिलरली वो रिसेप्शनिस्ट इतने अच्छे जानना शुरू हो जाते हैं वो पूछना शुरू कर देती है क्या कलेक्ट क्यों बैठे सबसे ज़्यादा काम आया था इसको लेडीज वॉशरूम याद रे उधर कितनी बॉन्डिंग हो जाती है इन लोग की राइट वो हर बार आते थे एक कन्वर्ट करके आते थे किसी नए कि मतलब ये बात वो आज तक ट्रू है बाय द वे आज तक भी लेडीज वॉशरूम एंड आई हैव हुज पुलिंग आउट व्हाट लिपस्टिक लव मामा अर्थ हैज वन डू यू ट्राई दिस ट्राई माइन लाइक ऑल ऑफ दैट आई डू खुला नहीं पर उस टाइम पे मतलब फॉर एग्जांपल वो किसे आवेल थोड़ी बातें हुई वहां पे तो फिर वो यार इसका नंबर लेके आई सप्लाई चेन में है इनसे समझ लेते हैं कि एमबीए कैसे कराना है वो कैसे कराना है तो आई डोंट थिंक लाइक it was deep strategy meetings and this is showing up right yeah. and you show up you wait right and you you pray right ki yaar achhi cheeze hongi tumhare sath right aur nahi hongi to tum ghar jate ho and pag laga ke so jate ho agle din agla din acha din hua right and to motto that's entrepreneurship right yeah. i mean every day you have to yeah. wake up with the as the most yeah. bloody optimistic person in the world irrational so, aaj to kuch crazy hoega wo par ho bhi jata hai like kai baar to dai to dai to journey right so the nahi hota 101 ke din ho jata hai aur wo pura pyar mein maar deta hai absolutely completely but tell me a little bit about offline and you talk about offline and it is one of the like you will see so many stories of people going into offline including us by the way ऑफलाइन में गए सत्तर हजार दुकानों में गए एंड हमने काफी मतलब कोलगेट और रेकेटर इन्वेस्टर्स सो वी वर आर स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट वाज कि तुम्हारे दुकान यू नो फुटप्रिंट बता दो उन दुकानों में तुम्हारे प्रीमियम प्रोडक्ट्स कहाँ बिक रहे हैं वो बता दो वहाँ पे एस एम आर एस एम से इंटरव्यूज कर लिए उनके साथ घूम लिए मार्केट में 
बनारस में जा रहे हैं जयपुर में जा रहे हैं जहाँ पे सो वी हैड अ मच बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग कम्पेयर टू इफ यूर डन ऑन आर ऑन कि जिलेट कहाँ बिक रहा है पार्क एवन्यू कहाँ बिक रहा है एक्स कहाँ बिक रहा है कोलगेट टोटल कहाँ बिक रहा है ड्यूर एक्स कहाँ बिक्रा एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा एंड देन वी स्टार्ट इवन देन आर असेसमेंट एंड वी वुड डू ले कि असॉटमेंट क्या होनी चाहिए हमारे अगर साठ स्क्यूज है तो कौन से छः इस दुकान में जाएंगे एक्सेट्रा फिर वहाँ मर्चेंडाइजिंग क्या करनी है फिर प्रमोटर कौन होगा फिर मार्जिन सक्सेस क्या होगा फिर डिसिप्लिन ये सब करने के बाद भी we realize that the velocity that we expect sometimes does not pay off in an offline environment the way it happens online and we see a lot of brands i mean like tsunami to matlab a lot of brands got funded two two and a half years back are back in the market and a lot of them have this whole recall from gt yeah. recall from mt yeah and i think it's a i think it is a par for course hai wo Haan. ki aap daloge pipeline karoge fir thoda wapas aayega fir aapko kar- hmm. we have good shelf life that way so we can hmm. play that game a little hmm. bit but in your case uh, you guys always figured out a brand block you guys always figured out a very cool way to play your online content communication positioning game very nicely in an offline environment also so talk a little bit about your category strategy that stuck in offline which i think was a unique way in which you guys did it do you guys operate like agar aapka ek brand block dekhe to you will see a lot of mama earth like and the traditional wisdom of fmcg is ki businesses are built on concentration on my board also ki tumhare itne skews kyu hai tum kam karo ek skew yeah. red bull ko dekho etc etc right yeah. and but i don't i don't think seeing you guys mm. i don't think that there is a one answer for all i think you guys have mm. fundamentally found a way to sell ranges very well with of mm. course some hero products but aapka range bahut sahi dikhta hai to wo strategy kya hai aapki what is what is this what is a killer thing there which others struggle with yet yeah, i mean i think pehle to bolunga ki uh gt as an environment as well as for that matter most modern trade as an environment is still a hero product environment because physically the space is constrained right? and kisi ki agar dukaan hai wo हज़ार स्क्वायर फीट की दुकानें हैं पाँच सौ स्क्वायर फीट की दुकानें हैं तो उसके पास उतनी ही स्पेस है इन द बिजनेस ऑफ रिटेलिंग इज अबाउट वेलोसिटी इनटू मार्जिन करेक्ट अगर चीज़ एक अच्छी वेलोसिटी पे निकल रही है उसके मार्जिन एंड एंड द स्मॉलर द साइज ऑफ द स्टोर द हायर इज द वेट ऑफ वेलासिटी करेक्ट एंड लोअर इज द वेट ऑफ मार्जिन the larger the size of the store right weight of margin also increases velocity ka weight hence relatively kam ho jata hai but matlab that's yeah. how general retailing works right at least that's our understanding of it right? to usko do types mein divide kar sakte ho aap right? there is the top uh, 50000 at best retail stores in india right where there is opportunity to do assortment selling right? because the size of these stores right is relatively larger right? mm-hmm. and there is then beyond them and where you don't have that opportunity selling and then there are also retailer types right so for example um um there could be a beauty retailer like hng right which would love assortment right because their consumers are coming in there and the time spent right is far higher right 20 minutes to 25 minutes they are spending there right on the other hand there might be a retailer where time spent is there but they choose not to do that. like for example dmart it is all about master heroes skews at the best price and value per right that's what they exp- their expertise is right and hence even large store right their weight of velocity is far higher than the weight of pure margin right so in my mind one yes to an extent the general trade environment or the physical store environment is a more limited assortment environment versus the digital environment jahan pe free hai share space shelf free hai ah, inventory unlimited ha matlab aap list kar sakte ho as many as you want koi paise nahi hai listing ke koi shelf space ke zyada paise nahi hai and hence much longer long tails can be served right you can without any marketing you, know, you can just have your product lying and if it is a product which people need right and, and are searching for right and, or differentiated api ka upar aa raha hai aapne seo optimize kar diya wo kar diya wo apne aap baitha hua paise kamake deta rahega aapko and like you can make money in that model also right 
on the other hand gt like i said retail concern right so one i do think to an extent large part of gt is the hero sq game and which is why honestly there hasn't been much innovation when it comes to fmcg in india because sare deep gt game khel rahe and when you are building a brand for a million stores right and every product is being measured by can it get into a million stores right and of course you won't build evolved products and propositions in which is why the indian evolving middle class was like was sort of ignored for a very long underserved time yeah. underserved right? and um, which is where you know brands like us right, were able to create a niche because we built keeping them in mind right and the fact that they are progressed they are looking for better propositions and e-commerce will be able to serve these guys right and, but who चीज जो है वो उतने असॉटमेंट स्केल पे काम नहीं करती बट देर ऑल्सो यू कैन हैव डिफरेंट स्ट्रेटी बिटवीन द टॉप फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड द बैलेंस आई थिंक इवन देर वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट वी डेड राइट वॉज इट वॉज इंट लाइक इन आर फर्स्ट ईयर और सेकेंड ईयर वी वी जस्ट वेंट इन राइट आई थिंक वी वर ऑलरेडी एट थिंक वो फोर हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड क्रॉस स्केल वेन वी स्टार्ट दिस जर्नी राइट लाइक आई सेट जुलाई 2028 करोड़ में तो पहुंच गए थे हम लोग राइट सो मतलब ये अक्टूबर में हमने रैली जर्नी शुरू की उसके बाद तो एक लेवल पे हम पहुंच गए एंड एंड हेंस ब्रांड अवेयरनेस वाज टू अ सर्टेन लेवल वी वर दिस इज एन एटमॉस्फेयर वेयर देयर इज देयर इज नो रियल आई मीन यू कैन हैव प्रमोटर्स और ब्यूटी एडवाइजर इन सम स्टोर्स बट इन जनरल एट स्केल देयर इज नो डिस्कवरी फनल ऐसा नहीं कि आप पाँच हज़ार क्यों हैं बहुत सारी चीज़ें बढ़ी हुई हैं एंड आपका ब्रांड या प्रोडक्ट वहाँ पे बैठ के बात नहीं कर सकता एट बेस्ट स्मॉल विजिबिलिटी डिसरप्शन कैन बी देर एंड दैट टू इन अ जनरल ट्रेड एनवायरनमेंट आर फार मोर डिफिकल्ट मॉडर्न ट्रेड में फिर भी हो जाते हैं पर वो वहाँ पे और डिफिकल्ट है आप विंडो से क्या अट्रैक्ट कर लोगे यार किसी को मतलब आप अपनी अवेयरनेस अपनी मैसेजिंग कुछ नहीं लैंड कर सकते वहाँ पर एट बेस्ट यू कैन टेल थ्रू अ विजिबिलिटी डिसरप्शन आई एम हेयर एंड हेंस ऑल द वर्क ऑफ प्री सेलिंग कि यार ये ब्रांड क्या करता है क्यों कंसिडर करना चाहिए क्यों बेटर है मेरे को खरीदना है नहीं खरीदना हैज टू बी डन आउटसाइड ऑफ द स्टैंड दैट होल मेंटल वर्किंग इन द माइंड वेयर समवन शुड बी कन्विंस्ड कि दे वांट टू बाय यू हैज टू बी डन आउटसाइड ऑफ द स्टॉक एंड हेंस ऑल ऑफ दैट वी बिलीव फ्रेंड टू अ लार्ज एक्सटेंट हैड ऑलरेडी हैपन टू सम लेवल्स पांच सौ करोड़ का ब्रांड था आई एम श्योर मतलब आपकी फनल्स आर वाइडर आई थिंक दैट वाज लाइक फॉर यू नो सेइंग दिस वाज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रीजन व्हाई वी सक्सीडेड इन ऑफलाइन राइट अ लॉट ऑफ even today i see a lot of brands who are fairly small limited awareness trying to explore yeah. offline and that strategy usually doesn't work because uh-huh. if the consumer doesn't know about you yeah. enough offline works if you have a consumer pull like varun yeah. is saying that there needs to be somebody who shouts out that when you look at this product hey you know me yeah. pick me up yeah. compared to the others right if that's not there you will get lost in that shelf correct so because of the awareness that we had built online especially during covid the scale up that had happened had actually helped us reach out to a wider range of audience then of course when you have your own d2c you have pin code level data you yeah. know where your assortment is going what's selling kahan ja raha hai kahan pe sabse zyada consumer acceptance hai i think that's also a strategy yeah. that we double down on we said we are going to explore this these pin, pin codes with relevant kind of stores of course we didn't know it the first time we went we experimented with different kinds of stores to understand what works in an mt what works in a gt okay. how are these two different okay. what is an sis all of that was a learning and i think we are still learning we are still evolving it's a very complicated space uh, but using that data to get into offline in the relevant kind of pin, pin codes to begin with raised uh, raised our success rate a little because certain places where it was working really well you could use that as that as examples to further scale up bilkul right and people take uh, you would also know in offline market mein people take feedback from each other yeah. ye distributor will talk to them <laughs> and they have that yeah. reputation building yeah. right so that reputation building started happening in the right way and then from there we After what, after we got to know that, yeah, ये वाली assortment GT में काम करती है, ये वाला stock वापस लेना पड़ता है. MT में you can have a wider assortment because that was yeah, stuff. Yes, yes, and all of those learnings, I think we used that to further scale up. Um, and not saying that we didn't make mistakes. Uh-huh. We did make mistakes, but we were cautious enough to accept and 
take actions to correct those mistakes. We didn't say, okay, now we have said this or we have done this and now we need to make this work. I think a lot of entrepreneurs also get stuck in that rut that if you have said it, you commit it, then we will try it even if it's not working. That way, we are okay to accept that it's wrong, let's correct it and let's move on. Let's focus our energies and efforts on the right direction which will help us scale up. But from 2000 crores to 5000 crores, I'm, I'm assuming that the belly of your growth uh, you will now start seeing happen in offline more than online or like at least that's what's happening with us that we feel like ours is a grab and go offline heavy category like people are not coming on to Amazon maybe on quick commerce a lot more for let's say yeah. shaving and, but our internal <coughs> viewpoint is that we have to sharp concentration of screws razor, shaving foam, shaving cream, face wash these two three hero product assortment leke, or to make sure that three four skews in pharmacy, three, four skews in GT, three, four, and some of them are maybe common across, but yeah. very retail environment f- driven hai. because that's how you get. So for you guys to go from like till to five, is that journey going to be about concentration of skews? Because they're very different from like a, you know, a, an, a, an assortment or a rain sale for like US. Yeah. And this is the thing, right? Focus is like a very underrated element yeah. of business, right? But you, when you said in the beginning that we want to go to mothers and then we want from baby to mothers, mothers yeah. to fathers, now the whole household, yeah. it is very anti-focus, but it leads to like, if you are able to get one core anchor principle, right? Which in your case was maybe a differentiated proposition product, mm. organic, mm. you know, takes care of you, etc. But now how do you then, like, how do you then focus this proposition? Because yeah. it, do you do it justice? Is that something you guys think of? How do you guys think about this, this, this element? Because it's something I struggle with, honestly. <laughs> no, you're right. I think it's it's very difficult to tame yourself and say that this is this is what is the only area that I want to focus on. That doesn't happen, especially in entrepreneurship, right? I think what we have realized is our ability to be able to give due focus to each and every micro channel, especially offline, has multiple different channels, right? GT will operate very differently from MT. An SIS, an EBO, etc. Just giving you an example, mm-hmm. right? Jaise hum online mein Amazon is very different from Flipkart, is very different from Nike. Now, one strategy could be that this is what I'm aligned to and I will execute the same strategy across. Everywhere, correct. Right? And that, what we've realized, doesn't work. Completely agree. What works on an Amazon might not work on a Nike. It needs a different strategy. What works in GT will not work in an MT. It needs a different strategy. And being able to accept that, be ready to put in that extra effort saying that micromanage all of these channels differently because each of these are large enough for you to be able to get to success. I think that's one thing that we have done, we are doing as we speak as well. Uh, that clearly was a learning because we thought that we have made a playbook or cross channels which we implement and stuff will start flying off. That and doesn't you know, I think like future has, future always surprises you. Seven years ago when we were talking to investors, I mean, 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 I at best you used to talk about soccer or the vision, right? Uh-huh. Saying that soccer or the brand is not and matlab agar ban gaya to aap like you're through man i mean like 100 crore brand kisne banaye the us time pe there was none right? um and hence then we used to talk then and people used to say ki yaar and we also used to at some level believe when people used to say because these people were smart right um ki agar 100 crore ka brand banega 80 crore offline se aayega 20 crore at best online se aayega and hum jab 400 crore pe the to 100% online the to it surprised us. Yeah. And I genuinely believe right, the future will continue to surprise yeah. us. Right? And hence, I don't think as an organization, right, we are taking any of the route to markets less seriously. Yeah. Right? Of course, from a brand journey perspective, right, Mammoth's next wave of growth right, is coming from offline. Right? But it is not like online is not growing. Right? Mm-hmm. And like Ghazal said, I think one of the learnings that we have had on such a um, such a large brand, it is now like top 10 beauty brands ahead of like brands which are 60 year old in India. 
we genuinely believe it is one of the most versatile brands in BPC That's in this so country. Yeah. It is a versatile brand and versatility is so underrated. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And like we have built brand constructs and keeping in mind that this century belongs to why based brands and which are platform brands and which will stand for a certain why and which is a common theme that will spread across their products and and not of singular product brands because the marketing investments just then pays off so handsomely on a platform brand and your ability to scale right, is also so much higher in a platform brand right, because of your ability to play in different categories. You go with me, investor. I need your like mouth. There are examples, right? I mean, uh, even in larger world, look at a Dove versus Sun Silk. Right? The pace of growth that Dove has demonstrated right, versus what a Sun Silk has demonstrated right, is so different. Right? Dove reached those milestones so much earlier. Be- right? Because of versatility because across categories? Because of versatility across categories. Because Dove stood for mildness, it did not stand for soap, hair, yeah. right? Or it did not stand for soap. Right? Yeah. Um, that allows you mildness, right? Now you can take this into whichever category you want, right? and hence your ability to play wider right? is far higher, right? And I think as a company, that's a one uh, core marketing belief that we have had, right? So, जब हम मतलब Like very early on, we were constructing our mamaat and brand constructing our name onwards, right? And if yeah. you look at all our brands, right, at some level they stand for this one underlying inside ecological. Right? It stands for hydration, right? It stands for freshness. What name is it? But that allows it to play in any category where it can make a difference using hydration, right? It just becomes very wide in terms of play. Then the derma company, right? Yeah. It stands for dermatologist design products, right? What allows you to play in any kind of category where where that proposition can come to life. Mama Earth, right? It stands for toxin-free, you know, natural care. Right? Now, again, right? It is so wide. It stands for, you know, doing good things, right? And being beautiful because you are good, right? and i think that just allows you to be have a very wide play right so i think keeping that in mind right we genuinely believe that both channels are very important for the company's growth right yahan se wahan tak ke journey mein dono bahut important ki play karenge but like gazal said i think hum ab unko bahut hi differently dekhna shuru kar ki there is a very different consumer and shopper behavior right which like you said is more towards your hero skews and how you build them and how you build deep reach towards it how you build deep awareness towards it and while this is a lot about also what is it that the consumer is now looking for and being innovative being able to take on categories which are more online first in nature and having the right shares in those categories and i think that channel needs to plays be played differently and this needs to be played differently and again because we have a lot of other young brands and, and all of them are playing online first right so company mein wo bhi ek skew hai ki wo online only hai and there is a so at a company level for us both are very important channels and we my company that works at it is such an underrated thing because i think about it this way like very few brands have been able to build out versatile versatility salience and it's a very hard thing to do by the way it's a very hard thing to do and the scale you guys are operating at the very hard thing to do depends on baggage it depends on baggage I mean how and i think has entrepreneurs right we don't realize um that our real journey is ahead of us at any point of time our real journey is still ahead of us and what's past which could be as big as you want it to be right is not a real journey and hence all of that can be challenged if you look at your forward journey and what you want to be and what you you want to reach right if you look at that and say wo kaise banenge aur uske liye agar jo bhi kiya hai usko badalna padega to badalna padega but we get stuck so early into saying ki yaar yahi to banaya hai is pe itni mehnat kiya ye kar diya assuming ki our journey is behind us that's moving on that is so important because pe- building a successful business and running a successful business are two different mindsets yeah. and and building a successful business is what you are talking about running one is about minimizing downside 
कि इतना बड़ा बना बना दिया अब इसको प्रोडक्ट करो एंड यू सी इट लाइक लाइक सक्सेसफुल बिजनेसेस आर सो स्केर्ड ऑफ लूजिंग देयर सक्सेस बट आई वुड रिमूव द वर्ड सक्सेसफुल देन हम भाई आई वाज नो हां यू वर सेइंग रनिंग अ सक्सेसफुल बिजनेस इन रनिंग अ बिजनेस कैन बी अबाउट मिनिमाइजिंग डाउनसाइड्स रनिंग अ सक्सेसफुल बिजनेस कैन नॉट बी अबाउट मिनिमाइजिंग डाउनसाइड्स आई थिंक दैट वर्ड सेपरेट्स इन This attitude. If you want to build a successful business, you have to play for upside. Yeah, तुम को growth disappoint करने वाली नहीं है। मतलब category की बात कर रहा हूँ। मतलब if you look at companies that have done very well in one category, 30-40 तक का market share, for example, for them to go into other categories is just so difficult because they're like, यार moment my sales guy has to spend even one minute outside, यहाँ पे I'll start losing share, यहाँ पे कोई competition आए, so they're just constantly fearful कि इसको and honestly. It, like you said, it's taken decades to build out something big with, let's say, forty percent share in a place. Like, look at our biggest company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, that's very interesting. The point that you've raised because we went through this about three years back yeah. when we were building Mama Earth. Yeah. Mama Earth operates in natural toxin-free space, right? At the same point of time, we were also seeing the space of active ingredients booming outside of India, and. that was being used to solve any kind of serious skin concerns like acne severe acne pigmentation etc now these are scientifically proven ingredients but they are not natural for us the decision that we had to take was do we take this up in mama earth itself yeah. because that's your success that you are sitting yeah. at right then or the other option was leave it out the third option was Bring can we brand. create a new brand yeah. right now at that point of time being able to take this decision that we are not going to ride on the success of mama earth because the proposition is not true to what the brand stands for and we are going to have a completely different entity that nobody knows of yeah. build it from zero to ground up do all of that hard work again was was that decision yeah. right opportunity we, was that, yeah. we we did that and like for any kind of white space that you're seeing you know that okay this sub category i want to enter this is a new proposition that i want to enter your of course first question should be that whatever i'm sitting on my current brand can that take on that opportunity if the answer comes yes it's a easy decision take on if the answer comes no do you give up on that opportunity or do you do something about it mm. and, and that's how like this uh, the conversation that you were having earlier philosophically at least and this applies to that focus wala conversation also to some extent and philosophically at least we believe keep your goals on the top and change your circumstances to make that goal happen rather than keeping your circumstances on top and in saying hence we can achieve yeah. this i i think and you know we get we get these questions a lot right i mean क्या फोकस और आप ये करना चाह रहे हो और ब्रांड बिल्ड करना चाह रहे हो कैसे करोगे एक ही में क्यों नहीं कर लेते हाउ विल द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हाउ विल यू फोकस राइट एंड फिर लाइक वॉज दैट्स अ चैलेंज टू बी सॉल्व फॉर एंड बट दैट डज इंट फील आई विल मिनिमाइज माई ड्रीम्स आई हैव अ गोल आई हैव अ ड्रीम एंड आई वॉन्ट टू नाउ फाइंड वे टू फुलफिल दैट ड्रीम राइट एंड इफ आई डोंट ट्राई राइट वॉट्स द पॉइंट ऑफ मी बींग फाउंडर एंड ऑन द प्रॉन यर एंड That's what we are here for. कि जो चीजें नहीं यूजुअल माइंड सेट से सोची जाती है क्या आप वो एक समवन हु इज विलिंग टू टेक रिस्क विलिंग टू पुट देयर नेक ऑन द लाइन विलिंग टू पुट वट एवर रेपुटेशन ऑफ एल्क्रिएशन डन ऑन द लाइन एंड एंड से कि यार बट मेरे को ये लगता है बन सकता है और मैं बनाऊंगा राइट यू कॉन्ट स्टार्ट बाई सेंग यार बट माई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के रोली सर्व दिस यू हैव टू स्टार्ट बाई सेंग मैं ये करना चाहता हूँ दिस इज माई विश एंड नाउ what kind of a organization do i need to design which can serve that vision and then create organization structures like that i mean we did realize right that if we get the team who is working on mama earth right to work on this younger brand or to work on some younger brands right we will be diluting focus but does that mean we like can't do it we can and we of course right are willing to take eight more hours from our day and build on that brand and if it means we have to create another sort of you know strike team which is just you know five six people and who are going to work that young brand and who are going to work with that hustle of ki yeah. boss day one startup hai right aur usko aise build karna jaise mama earth build kiya tha right of course with our learnings now we can do a lot better our our uh, capabilities our relationships our 
in ongoing engines right are far superior now so ability to do that quickly becomes better but wo fir humne call liya bana liya alag se team in fact that call was so good that that team has now become a permanent part of the organization called brand factory right wow. and it is a 30 people startup which is there within our company and and their job is zero to one they start with us on the conceptualization journey and the team directly reports to us right they start with us on the conceptualization journey of brands right then they work on logo design to everything right into to getting the first products right consumer testing jo cheeze humne shuru mein mawan pe kiye jaise hum log matlab malls ke bahar dukanon ke bahar jaake khade hote the to get actual consumer feedback right aaj bhi hamare har brand ke sath wo hum log karte right physically jaake hamare brand owners stand and and they take feedback on the mix ki kya aapko kya acha lag raha kya nahi lag raha right and it's not just about product feedback right it is about articulation of proposition right jab aap usko kahani suna rahe ho kisi ko one to one right unko kya samajh aa raha hai unke expression bhi aapko dikhna shuru ho jata hai acha ye samajh aaya is pe ekdam smile aayi right aap further usko revise karke sunana shuru kar dete ho right aur better ho jati hai wo right usse aake fir aap digital ad banate ho rather than just relying on ctr of communication right you rely on human connection and motivation ki boss acha ye aise baat samajh aayi right because finally we are doing all human to human conversations no right agar aapko over the table kisi se baat karke koi cheez samajh aa rahi hai right uska jo aap output fir aap banate ho in terms of your communication this far better right? so i think like wo ek team ban gayi hai and that team continues to operate differently right so we said ki yaar लाइक like, हाँ ये करना है इसको बड़ा बनाना है राइट बट उसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि ये नहीं करना राइट ये भी करना है बिकॉज इफ वी वॉन्ट टू रियली बिल्ड एंड बिकॉज लाइक यू राइटली सेट हमने एक कैटेगरी को क्लियरली अपना कोर बना लिया वी सेट यार इस कैटेगरी से बाहर नहीं जाएंगे हम बिकॉज द अमाउंट ऑफ कॉपरेट स्ट्रेंथ्स दैट यू नीड टू बिल्ड टू सक्सीड इन वन कैटेगरी राइट द अमाउंट ऑफ आर एंड डी स्ट्रेंथ दैट वी हैव बीन एबल टू बिल्ड बिकॉज ऑफ आर फोकस इन दैट कैटेगरी the amount of sourcing strength relationships which are deep in the ecosystem and relationships which are forward looking understanding of the consumer the science of skin science of hair science of baby skin etc right has been has happened because of that focus on bpc right agar hum bolte hame like kafi hum karte ye bhi kar lo aap ye bhi online mein bik jata hai nutraceutical kar lo home care kar lo etc that's how fmcg is been building yaar but we were like yaar nahi corporate strength banani padegi very strong in these areas and hence let's be focused but if we want to become a large player in that and especially because we have we have we also have a certain uh, slight premium proposition and we realized ki yaar hame wider wallet share chahiye hoga consumer ka and very early on we realized the same consumer was behaving differently in different situations she was buying a mild face wash and but when it came to her acne and she wanted a salicylic acid which works on her pimple and when it came to her lipstick she wanted a 12 hour stay lipstick and to same consumer hai but differently behave karte hain different categories ke upar and so either you can lose that wallet share or you can have different brands which are solutions to all these problems and and gain that wallet share as a company so i think like that so refreshing so refreshing to hear this because honestly like and i've been talking to potential investors so then you might know yeah. your colleague who's not godrej he told me yaar tell me one thing 500 crore ka kaun sa product banega it's a great question to ask and i don't know man unna to brand bhi nahi hai we like i really i you have to have a skew view to business which i think is great to understand but i also feel the same thing yeah aapko dekhta hu main for example i strongly believe that you are the consumer who will use a razor also who will use a trimmer also yeah I am a consumer who shave my head also. And I look at different men. They, that person will want a different product for hair removal, and I don't think Gillette should have let Trim Philips build a trimmer business in India. I don't think it should. But Gillette, का वही है ना they have a the DNA yeah. is handle free though and then monetize the yeah. cartridge. Trimmer is given electronics product hmm. and LTV yeah. हो जाएगा अपने आप. हजार रुपए की चीज है दो हजार रुपए की चीज है माइट रिपीट आफ्टर टू इयर्स थ्री इयर्स जब रिपीट करेगा बी टॉप ऑफ माइंड सो वेरी डिफरेंट बट कंज्यूमर वही है और कंज्यूमर लाइक शादी जा रहा है और ही इज गोइंग फॉर अ पार्टी और ही इज गोइंग फॉर अ वेकेशन ही विल वांट टू ग्रूम इज हेयर ही नोज हाउ टू शेव बट डजेंट नो हाउ टू ट्रिम यू हैव टू गिव एम लाइक एजुकेशन ऑन ऑल ऑफ दिस एंड आई लाइक वट कैन बी वन ब्रांड कैन डू बोथ बट आई एम नॉट एबल टू 
factor in this 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 concentration maths that yeah. like a- analysts of business are now kind of throwing at us ki the concentrate mm-hmm. and you're a public company so i'm sure you guys have have it at a much deeper and intense scale ki what are you known what is that one product what is your red bull energy drink ha like they have a fun teams also no yaar and they have football like everything kind of comes together in the energy yeah. space but it's very hard for me I, I, i'm just kind of so thinking think out loud when we started out and of course we get a lot of this question even today huh? the, it, <laughs> it I, is it is universal exactly. it's omnipresent huh. uh, but even when we started out we said we are going to have a lot of respect for the long tail right there are consumers that exist what is the problem with larger fmcgs we are not going to bound ourselves to that problem which is building for denominator circulating it in a thousand stores and hence you know evaluating opportunities like that but it, because it wasn't like the consumer doesn't want that there is a set of consumers who want it who is in waiting for them mm-hmm. and over the years as we built for the long tail the hero sqs emerged and once they emerge you get to know about it from the scale of it So now we have a large enough portfolio where we know okay are what are those zero SQs that should go down and then what is the long tail we still have a lot of respect for long tail I mean yeah innovation yeah. even today happens for long tail we are we will not leave opportunity just because nobody else is operating in the same size as well if i were you right i would think yaar hero sq might actually be a valued eroding mindset to have for a versatile brand like mama yeah, but bhai you na know, matlab you, you you it's not a Either or a conversation, yeah. right? It is an and yeah. conversation. Right? See the people who we are, for example, referring to or talking about, right? Come from a certain kind of a distribution mode, right? Yeah. Their distribution channel is driving their business thinking, right. and which is where they are talking about, let's say, a five hundred crore skew. Okay. Now, when you start operating in both of these channels, right? you have to operate with the reality of both channels right you can't also operate with saying here ye online ki ye learnings hai mere liye online mein ye chala hai to main offline mein bhi yahi chala ke dikha dunga no you have to understand mm-hmm. ki wo channel kaise operate karta hai velocity ka channel hai n zero products chahiye honge right but as a organization i think especially for you know uh, organizations like us who are online first digital first right we will need to work with the and dna yeah. right कि जब ऑफलाइन टीम से बात कर रहे हैं या उन प्रोडक्ट से बात कर रहे हैं राइन और उनकी मार्केटिंग स्ट्रेटेजी भी डेवलप कर रहे हैं राइन तो वो एक अलग डीएनए से हो रही है राइन कि यार मतलब लाइक अपन उपटन फेस वॉश फॉर आस राइट इट्स अ इट्स अ ह्यूज सॉर्ट ऑफ यू नो हीरोज क्यू फॉर आस इट इज द वन दैट ड्राइव अ लॉड ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट फॉर आस एंड इट्स अ इट्स ऑल्सो अ प्रोपराइटरी प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम अ ब्रांड परस्पेक्टिव बिकॉज यू नो ऑफ ऑफ द इनोवेशन प्रिंसिपल राइट उपटन इज मामा अर्थ बेसिकली इन अ वे नो I'm sure other people have tried it, right? Ha ha, uh, a lot, right? But um, from an innovation principles perspective, right, I think like when we discovered that insight was was a game changer for us, right? Yeah. Uh, I also feel, for example, if you are able to hold it, and the first mover advantage, like turmeric will be Vico, like it will, yeah, it yeah. will be like. Even if you look at it, yeah. Sandalwood will be my source. Like it will be that in the soap category. So if you are able to go there, have a great product, and you guys are amazing at pricing it well, premiumizing, not discounting, and so on, you are able to like really create that. Amarily, Mama Earth. Me basic insight was again coming from the same point that mothers trust other mothers more Correct. than they trust brands. And when we say other mothers, it's also their own mothers and grandmothers, Correct. right? जब हम बेबी के लिए बना रहे थे तो छोटा सा insight था कि यार कॉलिक होता है ना तो ग्राइप वाटर देते हैं but we also say and doctors also say that for the first 6 months the baby should only have mother's milk no other chemical or food should go inside the body yeah then gripe water they re usme to chemicals hai na why are we giving that and nani ma dadi ma used to tell us and this insight came because my mother also guided me that way ki agar colic hai to take this coconut oil mix hing and fennel which is soft in it boil it let it get cool down and apply it on baby's tummy correct right and when we did that it actually worked and it worked really well aur ye wale nuske to kitne time se chal rahe it's been existed for thousands of years right that same insight came to us on skin care with uptin hamare yahan pe puri ek ceremony dedicated hai on weddings correct that the day when you want to look your best you apply uptin because it gives you a glowing skin now 
that insight has been there for so long but nobody has understood the fact that you can innovate keeping indian culture in mind our traditions are different our cultures are different why is nobody listening to them why is nobody innovating that side and that's something that um, you know i think we took up we said hum uptan banayenge and our uptan face wash actually feels very close to the uptan that you make at home, at home right from the texture to the experience to the little scrubbiness to exfoliate your skin take the dead skin cells out is how the product was crafted and i still remember when we if you squeeze matlab abhi to aisa ho gaya hai ki shaadi pe mama earth uptan face mask jo hai uptan ki jagah lagaya jata hai and we get tagged in so many stories that up, like haldi uptan ka mix nobody wants to do yeah. that because haldi yellow uh, tint chhod jati hai skin pe mama earth has all of this in ready to use pack which is which also gives you like a really nice glow so let's use this and i think that was the insight that we then also doubled down onion also comes from the same insight onion juice ghar pe nikal rahe the has been used for ages proven right it's it's sulfur rich yeah. so clinically proven that it helps yeah. you regain know, uh, stop hair fall and that's the insight that we doubled down on and i think uske ilawa what we also realized was when we <clears throat> took these concepts to consumers like nobody had seen these kind of products or ingredients being talked about yeah. and we didn't have to convince them that this will work yeah they were already convinced ki uptan to hame pata hai chalta hai onion to hame pata hai chalta hai so if somebody is giving us a ready to use product and helping us save that time jo hame ghar pe lagta hai and that uh, it clicked yeah and this is this is like this is this is I, mean, i remember my mom like so i when i go home for diwali my mom will clean me with and marathi mein usko uthna bolte hai uthna bolta hai yeah yes and she knew it see the moment she saw uptan chale wo de to uthna uthna ka product hai Like, oh yeah and i did not make the do like i come from a marathi speaking yeah. household this uptan was a new word for me yes. and i did the research like, oh, this is the same uptan, thing uptan vatna it, it so has so smart. many different words uh, yes so it's so smart i think so i think that and you know another question that we get asked is how would you take on global brands right. because global brands you know have all the might they have awareness they have been there for so long and i think this is the single biggest differentiator at least for us right which is that we are crafting for indians a lot of brands have been selling to india but they have been generally building their bringing their global mix and sort of you know selling to india adapting right? it for it yeah. right not even so much yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not even adapt. by compromising on the quality of the product by not adapt like what are the general baki sab right so yes. food actually is is far better because yeah. wahan pe at least like you rightly said adapting to the country even with larger businesses hota because aap survive nahi kar sakte right uske bina but some of these categories not, like you said not even adapting yeah. right just putting that mix out there right? and, and when you start crafting for the consumer the response that you get is very different yeah. right i mean and that is there in all our brands right i mean in case of mamas like she said it's more about uptan it's about multani mitti right yeah. we've been using that for so long right and i think that's a insight which will be root right uh, which we know is something which is getting used in skin care and people use it at home and we want to sort of you know make the benefits of that into a ready to use for so i think that is something which is an insight which will continue to be a differentiator but it's own not only relevant for mama earth even on dermaco for example right um, our largest actives is different from the global larger yeah. actives so right? our larger actives are kojic and salicylic right kojic acid is a uh, far better active for pigmentation in india right and that's what dermats in india prescribe right compared to some of the other actives which get prescribed in in uh, us like alpha pitoin etc right uh, similarly salicylic is the other big one for us because acne prone country because of the amount yeah. of you know summer and pasina yeah, and sweat etc dirt that the country has so I mean, that's the larger active for us not for example vitamin c so i think ecological i told you the whole underlying insight is tropical weather needs light hydration right so uh, wo cheez constant and i believe that is that is the answer that uh, we give ki are how uh, we are able to take on global brands because hame samajh aata hai ki indian consumers ke kya requirement hai right and we craft for that requirement rather than saying ki duniya mein kya bik raha hai that is what we should sell so i think that yeah. uh, ends up being a being a solid differentiator 
at the forefront na consumer inciting yaar yeah. <laughs> ah, that's, that's that's the most important thing once you're able to understand them and their desires not not their needs their desires what would they trust more what would they like more that helps you differentiate from fully agree people. like fully agree. when we had crafted our vision of 2 crore bathrooms five products or bathroom 10 minute of happiness humko ek clear tha ki yaar it has roughly 1.3 bathrooms per household and uh everyone has different hair removal requirements so take a person who w- wakes up in the morning to their most beautiful self a big delta comes from removal of unwanted hair yeah it could be a clean shaven head or it could be someone a woman who wants her eyebrows yeah. or her upper lip yeah. it could be a man who i just has... used bombay in the morning <laughs> <You did? laughs> <I did. laughs> that's awesome <laughs> and someone who like wants like yeah. you know an arm shave or whatever right the father will be a clean shaver he wants a good razor the mother might have done laser she wants some something in the teenage daughter might want to hair him whole cream because she is scared of wax yeah. when the skin is what everyone the grandfather might have wrinkly skin to razor has to be softer yeah. everyone wants it and everyone's hair removal products in that bathroom are kept sink pe sink ke upar wale cabinet ke niche like udhar hi us wo real estate hai hamara yeah to waha pe how do we own hair removal is how the whole business has kind of been structured and waha pe this skew math becomes a little tricky because they're like yaar we want that bathroom to be fully functional mm. yeah. the house or mm. अब इसमें हम चूज करेंगे तो कैसे होगा राइट टू देन फॉर अस इट्स बिकम इट बिकम्स अ टफर गेम लाइक आई वी स्ट्रगल विद द काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बट लाइक आई आई वुड अंडरपिन दैट इनसाइड एंड आई वुड से अगेन द डिफरेंस लाइज इन द काइंड ऑफ हाउस होल्ड दैट यू आर टारगेटिंग एंड वर्सेस द काइंड ऑफ हाउस होल्ड दैट द द फोक्स दैट यू आर टॉकिंग टू राइट आर टारगेटिंग दे आर एक्चुअली टारगेटिंग अ सिंगल बाथरूम हाउस होल्ड I think while the averages that you are talking about are one point three are two, right? But the kind of households that you are targeting right? will be between two to three. Right? Averages tell a very different story, yeah. right? I mean, um, really, oh. your head is in the fire and your you know feet are on ice. On a day, you're very okay, right? I mean, like uh, uh, cliche but true, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what numbers say, right? I mean, like, and in in your case, actually, it's the two to three bathroom household, right? In in that household, like you rightly said, right? the big evolution that has happened in the last 20 years right is that we have moved from family consumption to individual, to individual consumption in these households mm-hmm. like you rightly said the teenage daughter is also looking at a different face wash for her and a different shampoo for her needs right versus the mother who might be looking at something for different right mm-hmm. banda abhi kahin beech mein matlab kai baar wo common wala use kar leta aur kai baar now like he is asking for his different needs as well but that evolution is happening also very quickly right? very quickly and i think that's a very big needle moving change the one bathroom when house is still a family consumption house right there whatever comes to most um, uh, you know in most cases that's used by uh, everyone right. that's the mindset and hence the number of brands that get into that are lesser the number of category formats that get into that are lesser and versus hair where the category formats actually that get in a higher right so that's the difference in 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 the consumer and and wo profile abhi hum log hum logon ko zyada samajh aa rahi hai compared to companies where the large larger fmcg companies jahan pe large business comes from um, you know the single uh, the penetration sort of uh, and and low low users of the category right and while our larger business comes from heavy users of the category right and such a good difference hai such a good point i also feel like influence is moving more upwards like we we yeah. saw this with cars happening 15 years back where the kids would influence so a lot yeah. of the car mahindra tata like a lot of their advertising was for kids we are seeing that happening with apparel and personal care now with teenagers i'm assuming august or maybe few years down the line might actually be influencing your sneaker choices Or we are already he, doing he, that. Already, already is fair. <laughs> right? Already Although is. Although like, oh yeah, I mean like he has a, a point of view on everything for sure. And you will listen to him. Oh man, he, he's he's actually genuinely more educated, right? I mean, because <laughs> like while I buy, that was a revelation right? to us as well. Huh? While yeah. I buy, right? I don't like. I'm not as tuned into, and it might also be about the person or personality that he is. Right? And if he gets interested in something, na, he goes jata. Right? That's a very good thing. She would have got it. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. it's good. But would coming back to, I remember uh, two weeks back when you were at that uh, 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 party, right? Where there were a lot of teenage yeah. uh, girls that you met. Yes. And I think like Pesta Palgya, I was talking about. You want to, you want to talk about that? 
you can talk about it. <laughs> no, no, please go ahead. No, it was your sort of, you know, bow right, where the sampling thing and... So I was at this event and we were generally talk. So this lady comes to me that, you know, we use Mama Earth and we love it and we are using the oil and the face wash, etc., etc. Mm. And generally, the curiosity that we have around knowing our consumers better, right? I generally asked her, okay, how did you get to know about the brand? And she said, my 13-year-old has been after my life that the only brand that you're going to use is Mama Earth. She bought this sample product from a platform, used it, loved it, realized this is toxin-free, natural, and actually was the influencer for everybody in her family, including her mother and her grandmother. And I was surprised by that inside that these young kids are now our new influencers. But why? Like, what? What about my mother? They're a thirteen-year-old, like, like because you're not designed. So she had actually bought a sunscreen, uh. and usually sunscreens are heavy textured. You don't want to use them; they leave a white cast, right? So she had bought our vitamin C daily glow sunscreen. She loved the texture of it, the fact that it doesn't leave a white cast, and of course, other tanning nahi hori, so that's like a proof that it works, right? So it was an efficacious. Yes, consumer. it was an efficacious product. And she also understood that this is natural and certified safe. In ka her product, made safe certified hota hai. That was the conviction for her to try the product. And she hadn't bought a full size. They, these guys have limited money, right? So she had bought a sample size. But she loved the experience so much that she made her mother buy Mama out. To wo face wash wahi ka aega. She made her grandmother say that aap use karte ho, aap onion oil use karo, isse pakka aapke baal better ho jayenge. And I came down and I said, we need to double down on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it was such well, a revelation. Like, uh, uh, like, and, uh, I think they, they've been using now the brand for three years. Right? The fam- yeah. Family, yeah, the family has been using the brand for three years. And it's been getting, it's a part of their, you know, everyone's uh, profile. Right? So, um, I think, one, right, the younger generation is far more tuned to the social world. Right? Um, and hence their ability to yeah. sort of research, learn uh, from social world right, is higher. Right? Secondly, they're also, because of their YouTube, Insta generation, right? they're also, in my view, going to be very good storytellers. Because everything they're watching right, is... So we used to get to see or experience very few storytelling, right? Our, for us, storytelling was either soap operas right? Right. or one-off movies that you would watch right? or some advertising, good quality advertising that you would see. And imagine the number of stories you're getting exposed to every day now. I think mean, it is like 100x, 200x, right? If you're exposed to the digital world, right? There is one-minute storytelling, right? but there is a lot of storytelling, right? And hence, your 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 uh, uh, ability to tell stories right also increases and, um, and these kids hence are able to craft good stories right from what they learn and are able to tell it at home trying to which can convince people on why what they are saying is right and why well, i think that best uh, is going to be big right My in that sense and it's amazing to see because a lot of large brands today the struggle for them and they have spoken about it publicly is that they don't appeal to the consumer of tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Like they have built salience in millennials yes. and older. Yeah. But the sal ka jo hai. So for example, for us, one of the when we found out to launch razors for the we were like, yeah, if wahi razor, there is no segmentation. It is bought across income levels, it is bought mm. across age groups, mm. same brand, great brand, all of that. But you will not need to get penetration. So we said, let's make it for the first time shaver. So now younger consumer, how do we do it? So we, in our sense, and we call it sensitive skin, acne, daadi, so your razor is different. It's okay, we did the product. One thing we did was in the sensing range, we added a, a I'll show, show it to you, it's a strip. It's a blue strip. Mm. Okay. Which barber uses to sharpen his ustra. Ah, yes. Yeah. We convert it into a denim res- resin. We ah. use it in 99 rupees. We add it. We use it on your razor. Uh-huh. The razor life goes up by 70%. Oh, nice. Now, the consumer is very smart. Yeah. Right? They are storytellers yeah, yeah, yeah. and all. Yeah. They like, like, you are uh, reducing your profits. Uh. You are elongating my life. Uh. Reducing our profits. So like, no, that's fine. You're very redu- reducing our profits, but we believe that it's better for us as a brand yeah. to be kinder to the environment by reducing plastic. Yeah. 
and we hope that if you buy this razor tomorrow we'll go and buy a yeah. foam or a cream or a Mm. You know, after shave from us mm. you're buying into the brand not now, into the product for yeah. everything else razor is up theek hai but lekin is cheez se jo goodwill mil jate na now that repeat rate is now yeah. 35 40% yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. i and, can imagine and we were like boss this is a different consumer <laughs> <laughs> so this 13 year old for you i think efficacy is one thing but there is something about why is she is falling in love yeah. with you yeah. more yeah. than she in fact the other pieces and we get uh that's one of our top standouts as a brand right which is the the brand purpose and very early on we realized that the consumer of tomorrow is going to care more for how the brands which operate are operating beyond the consumerism that they exist for and so it is not only going to be the great product that you sell but also as a corporate citizen or as a brand and right? what else do you do right? which which is in line with their beliefs right and hence very early on we started on our brand purpose journey right? uh for mama earth it was on two parts one we did understand that this consumer does care about plastic yeah. right? and they care about yes. you know right but i don't think the world can today survive without plastic right it is it is just not replaceable that said the world still can survive without any new plastic there is enough plastic in the world which if you keep recycling recycle, right, yeah. then it can come back into in form of circular economy then to humne lag kiya they care for this and hence we must have a recycling program and we committed to recycling more than what we use right and this we did in 2017 right first yeah. year of the brand right and, and we have continued to stay brand has scaled to like millions of units a month that we sell right and, uh and uh, we recycle more plastic than we use right and we have clear certifications in tonnage um 300 3650 metric tons of plastic last year recycled and so that connection in communicating that connection secondly we realize that if mama earth is the brand that comes from the best of earth and then we have to find ways to give back to earth in the same manner trees for example which is yeah. the plant goodness program right and i think the big differentiation for us was we use technology to say ki are it is not enough for us to say right, ki hum ye karte right? which was the same principle that i talked about na ki yaar wo khud bolna toxin free is not enough and right? you have to be able to show the difference that it is making right so which is where we built the technology where when you place an order right, we actually send you an email with the geolocation of the tree that we are planting the picture of the tree that we are planting the species of that tree that has been planted right? and if you are a app user wo there is a my forest section right aapke jitne orders hain unke sath jo trees connected hain right? wo aap sare dekh sakte ho right matlab abhi Over you the had years, a now we have so for example very recently a consumer wrote to me saying i'm a plant parent to 23 trees and i would love to go and visit them some day <laughs> like it is overwhelming yeah. and we receive so many such messages but for example packs pe to hum bhi padhte hain na itna portion of this money goes into here yeah. and you are never able to see it yeah. so you don't know where is it going how is it impacting people you you don't know that you are also doing good Absolutely. here the consumer was directly getting to know ke yaar ye because i purchased for them this is also something that's getting added to my yeah. good works and we like all credits to them Uh, but giving anybody a reason to believe even in the purpose even in the why it it, it definitely yeah, because yeah. it's there you can see it you will trust it more and that's the thing it's just it might seem something like this might even seem gimmicky something like what they're talking about might seem qualitative and intangible but it is what yeah key finally the brand is qualitative and intangible yes. right it's where yes. the brand is built in the mind of consumer it's an idea and yeah. of what a certain word or a design mark stands for okay. and, and you have to just keep doing more emotional intangible things to actually yeah. build you know that that idea stronger in in someone's mind i am waiting for a day when we will be able to show our consumers the mama earth forest that exists because they bought from the brand imagine well, we already so have like 500000 yes. trees but they are distributed right and so mm. uh across like 5 to 7 states, states and you know it's a farmer link program actually so uh in fact it generates livelihood for farmers also because we only do fruit, fruit trees right? wow. aur hum log jo hai unke farms ke na border pe karte hain right? to it becomes because it's a fruit tree right 
इन थ्री ईयर्स वी पे फॉर इट बट तीन साल के बाद जो है एक्चुअली इट इट पेज फॉर इट सेल्फ बिकॉज फ्रूट्स आने शुरू हो जाते हैं पाँचवें साल से एक्सेट्रा और उसके बाद ना उसकी लाइफ जाती नहीं तीन साल केयर करनी पड़ती है प्लांट की अगर तीन साल ट्री की केयर कर दो तो फिर वो आपको कमा के देता है रहन तो इस वजह से वो काफ़ी फैला हुआ है रहन बट नाउ वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट इज आर ड्रीम इज वी वॉन्ट डू इट इन डूइंग दिस इन गुड़गांव गुड़गांव वेर वी वॉन्ट डू दिस इन एकर्स ऑफ प्लान टूगेदर एंड दैट विल बी आर फॉरेस्ट राइट वेयर All our consumers can actually come and and just be a part of that mammoth forest. One one person and this is a slight aside, but my father uh, started a company in 2003 and sold it in 2019 in the Wi-Fi security space mm-hmm. based in California. Sold it wow. engineering in Pune. Sold it in 2019. His co-founder was a gentleman called Dr. Praveen Bhagwat. Is and he was a professor of computer science at IIT Kanpur. Mm-hmm. So he is the guy whose name is on the patent for Wi-Fi, by the way. So wow. the first packet of in- of data was sent without a wire. He was one of the three wow. scientists who was there. He's the innovator of Wi-Fi in a way. After the exit, he's taken the proceeds and he's dedicated his life to planting trees. Wow. He's gone and bought land, by the way. And by the way, it's a very difficult thing to do. You guys yeah, know yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. It is damn hard. Yeah. He's gone and bought. I think he's now planted trees in seventeen hundred acres. Wow. It's an hour and a half from Pune, and his entire approach is. a lot of what human beings need to do needs to be non anthropological in nature anthropocentric in nature hum log sab hamare liye karte hamara growth hamara yeah, yeah, yeah. self need but biodiversity is about biodiversity mm. and there have to be you can't just go and plant ek so at now sindhu 1500 acres now 15 pata nahi wahan pe iit kanpur ke professors ke liye there is a grove wow and so on right <laughs> so he has now created this now what is ended up happening is there are now 120 नेचुरल ग्राउंड वाटर पानी आने लग गया वहाँ पे ऑन इट्स ओन वहाँ पे आर बर्ड एंड एनिमल्स सीन बिफोर हैव कम देयर सो नाउ पॉलिटिशियंस आर कमिंग देयर यू नो चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ द स्टेट हैज कम देयर एक्सेट्रा इफ यू वुड आस्क मी टुडे इफ आई वुड टेक अ पंट ऑन हु इन माई नेटवर्क विल बेन अ भारत रत्न ही इज अ पर्सन आई वुड आई वुड लव फॉर यू गाइज इफ यूर Honestly, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. We, we would, would, would love to spend half a day with him, and he is love to. He is one of the most high IQ people I've ever met. Wow. Ever. Uh, of course, he is the inventor of Wi-Fi. Sadhu, look. I know. To unko dekhe like unko dekhe sa almost see a halo behind his head. Yeah. Almost. Wow. But you, he would love to meet you guys. Ah, we would. We would, we would love, love to. Meet. Meet. We would ah, love to go. Ah, and like, we would love to also find ways to partner. Right? Yeah. Wale mein agar Kanpur grow ho sakta hai to Mamar grow ho. Arey ha ya baat kar raha hai. Ha baat kar raha hai. My dad is on the board. Okay. and he's been telling praveen that praveen we need to find a way to monetize this and you are putting on all your wealth in this is crazy but yeah. like nahi this is my life for wow. aap miloge unse like nahin, mission nahin. orientation is all that it's our purpose as well i think he will take us on board <laughs> <laughs> for meals you have this green thing which changes color as yeah. the blade wears off so you know when to change the blade yes in women razors you don't have that mm. correct so you will use it for 3 4 months or so because yeah. it's working mm. but it will start leaving those bacteria etc it will go bad right see women shaving is see women shave ankle to thigh wrist to arm mm. longer hair sparser hair mm. okay so men shave chin to jaw denser hair smaller hair so it rubs off that sensitive part very quickly You on your smooth skin. You use that. This this will never rub off. ये जाएगा ही नहीं कभी. This aloe. वो तो problem. पता चली करेगा. आपको कितना time blade use करना चाहिए? Hygiene के लिए. Hygiene. So उसमें hygiene वाली बात थी. उसमें comfort वाली बात है. लेकिन वो मुझे वो एक smooth. जैसे मतलब toothbrush भी आता है. Right which में पता चलता है आपका वो color change हो जाता है, bristles का या कुछ हो जाता है. If someone can. उधर पे वो ऐसे फैल जाता है. और कतू Like, बिल्कुल ब्लंट नहीं हो जाता यू डोंट आई मीन हाइजीन फैक्टर विच विल ऑल्सो इनक्रीज दूसरी Hmm. They again shave in the shower area. Yeah. They don't shave at the basin. So water usage for a woman while shaving is much lesser. Hey. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
जब आपका ऊपर तक आता है तब भी बाल निकलते हैं ऐसा रेजर बनाया हुआ है I I I just saying that that I, I wish I got to to know that now is the time for you to change. Change. That's a fair point. I mean, humne wo thoda bada bhi kar diya, thoda moisture. Main Sinda ko hu, ki kya kar sakte? We are reaching the try. And honestly, this has been a conversation that has been a for someone watching. And I see, I see a lot of people starting brands. Most of Shark Tank yeah. is people starting brands because it's it's an intuitive yeah. space. Like compared to any other like B two B SaaS businesses, etc. Starting a brand is intuitive. I think consumption story for next twenty thirty years in India has kind of already started playing out. Yeah. Uh, we are seeing it happen, but this has been a master class in thinking about channel, thinking about consumer, thinking about business build. And you guys have been so generous. But I wanted to come, and you know, we don't have a lot of time. But you both, uh, you know, husband wife founder couple raised tons of capital. Actually, not a lot of capital. You've been fairly, very, very, very capital efficient. We're well, right? very happy you made that. <laughs> <laughs> very, you've lived uh, compared to businesses of yeah. which of 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 two billion dollar valuation and so on, much, much lesser capital compared to the value you've created. Um, you've done it. You've done it with like managing boards. You've managed buying companies. You have now taken the company public. Talk about. Talk about your relationship as founders. and how you have been able to kind of grow it as individuals and as a founding team you got an seen you got you know you built an org structure which now has seen your talent and like you said you have a ceo for certain businesses and so on right so how have you kind of been together and how have you grown together and individually both i know it's a very open ended question but i have designed it purposefully because i wanted to talk about a very deep question mm-hmm. and it has taken us a lot of work to figure it out um i think when we got into it it was more like like you you're coming together on a personal pain point you're trying to solve it and hence who better to work with than the both of us also trying to bring in somebody else at that point of time was very difficult because you have to be able to show that vision that you have to others and without going in the market to be able to attract any kind of team member is slightly difficult and i think co-founder mit of matlab i th- i i would like to believe that we were very clear we are going to start this together because it was the reason of starting was our own child um so for me i think there has been two journeys one has been me personally growing up to the role that i've taken up to the scale of the company etc for both of us yeah I mean, yeah and second was really how do we deal with each other and ensure that our personal relationship and work relationship are both getting stronger by each year um so while very different roles but i think basic principles have been the same one is continuing to learn and continuing to be open and honest about who you are as a person So for example personally for me I started with zero experience in FMCG industry or like What were you doing before sorry I am not aware of what were you doing before I was an artist You were an artist you were a painter yeah paint. and I was very happy selling my works nationally internationally exhibiting um media coverages all of that was in line so I thought that I've finally been able to find my passion and combine it with work yeah. and this is something that I want to do for the rest of my life So that was something I I wanted to do but of course life had different plans so from a, from an from a corporate trainer prior to this to an artist, artist to now being an entrepreneur for me it was a very very different and a difficult journey i had to learn a to z of starting up basics ground level i mean pnl kaise banta hai kaise dekhte hain product innovation a lot of research went to it a lot of reading happened being able to accept the fact that i don't know i think for the first few months i was very insecure i was not confident when i used to talk to people because you have this self um you know why you have to motivate yourself to keep learning but you were also aware of who you are and how little understanding you have of the business but i realized that being able to accept that this is who i am this is where we are i might not know everything but i'm willing to learn i will ask stupid questions forgive me that 
for that, but please help me understand what we are talking about. I think that was the first milestone that really helped on the personal front. Um, and I think that attitude has sort of, it, it just, it keeps changing at different stages. You're insecure about different things at different stage and being open about it and being okay to accept it to yourself is one. I think on, a, on, a, on our personal front, like one, being husband and wife helped because you've been, you've known each other for so long, you know what makes the other person happy, what makes the other person sad, what irritates him or her works in favor as well as against yes, you. Yes. We ensured that we were making it work more in our favor, right? Um, we also realized that we are two different people on two very different journeys. And being able to be open and honest about it, for example, I learned a lot from him during the early months. And I was bringing a certain mindset which was from a like I was a consumer, I will say that. I was not a business expert. So from that lens, while he was bringing in the other side of it, that complemented each other really well. That said, as we grew, we also understood that we'll have different point of views. And sometimes those different point of views lead to arguments as well. And that's the time when we decided it's very important for us to divide roles and then say that whatever we are taking care of, we will have our executive decisions here we will take the executive call, even if there's a difference in point of view, and we will respect each other, right? So for example, I said that I'm going to take care of the product, innovation, consumer, etc., because I'm able to do that better. He took care of the business part of it. And he might have a point of view on innovation, but if I feel strongly for it and it's data driven, then final call stays with me. Similarly on the other side. And bringing that clarity actually helped us build teams accordingly as well. Because you are, then your reporting structure, who reports into whom, what function gets taken care of by whom. And when, when your team sees that there is a clear understanding, right? you're not fighting in front of the teams. You're not raising voices in front of the team. Even if you are disconnected on something or you're not aligned, you take it outside of the meeting. You come to consensus and then you present like one face before the world not just limited to teams, but even everywhere else. I think that really helped us understand each other better. And then we also took this back home, like personal relationship also. I think a lot of this has helped that respect for different point of views, being able to have a constructive argument and then being able to segregate that, okay, people, the person is not the problem. The problem is the problem, Yeah. right? So you discuss the problem, you try and solve for it, but you don't reflect it that you are like that or you do this or you always think like that. I think these were my learnings that, through the journey. I, I, the only thing that I would probably add is I think very early on because of this uh, honest uh, piece that, you know, like if you are not honest to each other, then it's a problem, right? Also made us far more vulnerable to each other. I think, and, you know, about what we know, what we don't know, what we're feeling, what we're not feeling, how do we sort of manage things or how there are days when you really feel low in an entrepreneurial journey, right? I mean, like nothing is going away or, or just what you expected is just not happening in your time. And I think being able to express that in the most vulnerable manner, uh, it's very difficult to sometimes do it with your teams, right? right. Because when the startup is in the uncertain stage, right, uh, the teams have joined this company because they believe in you yeah. right, and your ability to solve mm. whatever is around you. Right. And while we genuinely believe in the power of being vulnerable and vulnerable leadership, right, but at that stage, right, there is a level to which you're able to be vulnerable with your teams. Right? You also want to protect, you know, care, fear out, Sort of, you know, I, I can't, can't sort of burden them with yeah. Right? Yeah. And I can't burden them with stress. I don't want to create panic around anything. Right? I need to figure this out. I will sort of, you know, we yes. figure this out, right? So I think, on, you know, and then you can only be very vulnerable with probably your co founder, right? I mean, and in this case, because one, the, like she said, the relationship was built on a deeper relationship, which was a marriage, right? And secondly, because we, we agreed, right? We, like, consciously made that decision that we will be honest and vulnerable about what our fears are right? with each other. Because we can't share those fears all the time 
with everyone else, right? So I think that has helped not just on professional front because once a muscle is built, mm. a muscle is built. Built, yeah. That's also helped significantly on the personal side because we're now able to be very vulnerable personally. And we're able to have conversations which are not logistics conversations, right? I think half the relationships become weak because they're they're continuously being filled with logistics conversation, right? right? Like those conversations become seventy percent of or eighty percent plus of the conversations that you're having. You're not having conversations like, okay, what are you what are you feeling? And rather than asking, oh, how was your day? And hey, how are you feeling? What is it that's like, you know, and just talking about those for times, what is it that you're afraid of and what is it that's making you happy and like, and just going deeper and asking why is around those conversations very, and I think we started having that a lot more because of that muscle around vulnerability. So I think that has, that has helped strengthen started the relationship on both. Date nights. Yeah, I see that a lot. (laughs) Where we don't talk anything logistics. No work. Like, what are you feeling? How are you? Like he said, right? Those are the kind of questions that we ask each other. So we'll not talk about kids. We'll not talk about family. We'll not talk about chutti pe kaha jana hai. We'll not talk about food. Like, anything else. But. Or other people, more importantly. (laughs) That's the worst part of the businesses, which comes very naturally to you when the two of you are together. And we are like spending day and night together. Uh, but that actually, like, yeah. till today we do it, and I, every time we do it, we feel that the, that we've gotten better from where we were before this. And you guys are very open. I, I, and to your earlier point, like, as a founder, showing worry slash panic to the team who is kind of, I think Toshar was on the barber shop. He said very interestingly, he said, a worried whisper from a founder is heard as a scream. Yes. Yeah. You're right. It's heard as a scream. You're right. You can't, you can't do it. So either do it at home, where people don't have context. Yeah. You do it to people who are not in the business, you do, they don't have context. So you end up burdening them and they are not able to understand also. But here, if, if there is vulnerability which is acceptable and you guys have a relationship which is great, I think, but to do it in a manner that is sustained and you guys have gotten close. I see you guys on, uh, on, on social and you're very like, you're a very authentically happy an expressive couple. Uh, not only in the way you guys celebrate date nights or birthdays, but even the way you make you dance with your colleagues and uh, you know you you put yourself out there like as human beings mm-hmm. more than as. Uh, and I, I, I pre- and I'm sure it, it doesn't come easy because you are now in the limelight. <sighs> this is a this is a very uh, like this is a topic that we have conversations of very often, you know. And with others, are, actually, we are pretty clear yeah, about it. But yeah. yeah, like, what are you guys doing on social media? And my answer to that always is that I am being who I am. Yeah. I was this person before I started Mama Earth. I've just continued to be that. Yeah. And if I'm happy and I'm celebrating, then I put it out there. Yeah. Even if I'm sad, I'll probably put it out there. But I want to give out this message that, yes, there are certain years of Doing tapasya, when you start up, you have to figure it out. You have to scale it to a certain level. But after that, you can also have a life while building a company. I see a lot of people guiding me that, oh, you should not post this on social media. You're coming across as this person. Oh, you're not posting work. You're not doing... I mean, and my only... Like, I've still not gotten the answer to it in terms of me answering it to myself, that why do we all need to pretend? Why do we all need to show that we are this person who we might not be? I mean, if I am building a business, I'm having fun, I'm raising my kids, I'm also enjoying, yeah. for example, Saturday, Sundays with my family. I'll put it all out there, no? Yeah. You know, what like, I uh, mean, uh, um, the worry that a lot of people sort of you know, express is saying, yeah, people think that you're going to be a little bit, you're going to be a little bit, because you're going to be a little bit, right? Yeah, wo Instagram kisi ne kaam, like, wo LinkedIn pe dekh, wo sa, okay, kaam ho raha hai, point of views kya hai, right? And number of number Exactly, right? Like, kaam, ko, like, bara ghante, paas din, close kaam karte hai. Like, which other company pe, has built multiple hundred crore plus brands yeah. with one brand 
एज द स्केल ऑफ इट ये बिना काम किए तो नहीं हो सकता ना यू कॉल इट लक से हो गया यू कॉल इट वट एवर इन्वेस्टर से पैसे लेके बिजनेस बन गया मार्केटिंग से बिजनेस बन गया ऐसा थोड़ी ना होता है यार ऐसे नहीं इट इट योर ब्लड किसने किया है क्या तो तुमने किया है क्या तुमने नहीं किया है ना तुमको नहीं आता ना आई नो एंड इट इज I mean, it takes a lot of effort for you to ignore that noise and say that I'm going to continue to be my authentic self and who I am, and still be okay with posting all of that because I want to genuinely come across as the person I am to my audience. Your entire thesis is about being authentic. Your as a brand, your you you the consumer thinks of you as toxin free and natural and authentic. If you as founders, if you're not yourselves, yeah. I'm as you, and like you said. The negatives will probably be screaming, yeah. but the silent majority is the silent majority. And because they're silent, they don't tell you. But they're going into stores and buying your product, which is why you're as wildly successful as you are. So, I would say that it's amazingly refreshing to see why. To think, well, podcast you're running, 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 it is what i probably spend 90 percent of my time doing and it is probably 99 percent of uh, where my mind yeah. spaces but i have a, a life number one number yeah. two the perspectives i bring back this conversation will tell me 20 things that i yeah. take back to the team yeah imagine if i'm doing this with like five people a month yeah. who are yes. equally intelligent in their own field, yes and then i'm doing it with mckinsey and then i'm doing it in other places i bring that back to the organization and at the end of the day i know not the value that this adds yeah. for the brand and for right. everything else Similarly, to and, what do they do? I answer? always want to ask another question to these people. Would you be happier if I start pretending to be someone I'm not? Yeah. Like, <laughs> is, is that what you're referring to? Yeah. You're telling me to hide a certain aspect of me, myself. Yeah. Like, should I start being another person? Yeah. And like, I, why is, why is leisure fun looked down upon so much in culture? I mean, yes, we are, we are. Like we are a developing country, we are a hardworking. Um, but from childhood, say I think that conditioning and over time it will change a little. I mean, but what the conditioning do have? I mean, like uh, you know, that if you read, write, then you will be. You know, if you play, 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 then you will be bad. You know that thing? If you read, write, play, then you will be bad. If you play, 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 then you will be bad. That's a like a conditioning. Yeah. And like. One life, yeah. you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah. You genuinely don't know. While we talk about longevity, then, कल क्या पता बॉस? What can happen to you? And and if you're not living it to fullest, and if you're not enjoying the smallest moments, and and some of those things which you like, you're not sharing with with people, right? And I think the more we got pushed back on this, the more we feel कि बॉस ये और लोगों को भी निकालने इस रात से कि डोंट फील गिल्टी अबाउट अबाउट एंजॉइंग योर फ्री टाइम यू हैव अर्न इट एंड एक्सप्रेसिंग योर साइड इफ यू आर जेन्युइनली अर्निंग इट राइट लाइक एक्सप्रेस इट एंड डू व्हाटएवर यू वांट टू डू विद योर फ्री टाइम एंड इफ यू फील लाइक शेयरिंग इट विद अदर्स बी ओपन अबाउट शेयरिंग इट विद अदर्स बी योरसेल्फ एंड वी लाइक उसमें कितना कितना भी समय गुड टाइम्स दिस एटीट्यूड फॉर अस आल्सो वर्क्स रियली वेल व्हेन टाइम्स आर टफ Rather than saying कि यार ये गलत हो गया, I mean we have an attitude. We look at the गलत में भी we will look at the positive side of yeah. it, right? And we will try and say कि यार ये same चीज़ मैं खूब सारा stress लेके भी figure out कर सकती हूँ और ये same चीज़ मैं थोड़ी सी energetic enthusiast होके भी fit कर सकती हूँ problem आई है ठीक है ना how do you solve it, right? You can like, get bogged down saying oh shit problem आ गई what do I do and just keep getting in that rut. It it pulls you down even further. You just change, switch that mindset, saying, "Yeah, problem here, but I'm I'm going to figure it out, and I'm going to I'm going. These are the three actions, or these are the five actions that I'm going to take to figure it out. Even during those times, just lifting yourself up and feeling happy gives you far more energy yeah. than otherwise, right? Yeah. We would have a working Saturday, but if we are able to pull out two hours out of that working Saturday and be with our kids and enjoy a picnic with them." I would rather post about that rather than cribbing about the fact that my Saturday was working. Yeah. It's a it's a it's an attitude and yeah. it's it comes yeah. from a person's personality. No, I think. And I think 
I would say like my personal view is that a lot of the noise comes from either envy or inability to understand. That there are two sources of noise. Yeah. Yeah. मैं तो कर नहीं सकता. So why are you having fun while you do your? So there is that, or I am not able to get how you can be worth so much and create so much value. And still have so much fun. Something must be like it is just yeah. bizarre. Like. Oh, this no something must be wrong. It is. <laughs> it comes out so openly across different spectrums of people that you meet. It is. It is genuinely there. I, I can imagine it takes a certain amount of uh, ability to ignore to do it. it But it, I would it like is, either, either as as someone observing. It is work. I'm telling you, like just keep doing it because. especially the public company you guys are new age promoters you're young you're kind of successful you're good looking like i think people people are watching you guys are possibly going to want to emulate this and you we can't leave an example like you're saying right the consumer of tomorrow is someone we may not understand yeah, yeah. that another yes. the rules are very different yes. the thumb rules don't exist the same way anymore yeah. they should be able to see that this is entrepreneurship is a like we have an okay what this go we uh लाइफस्टाइल मार्टर्स बोलते हैं कि योर यू नो यू हैव योर राइट ऑफ पैसेजेस कि मैं बहुत मेहनत करता हूँ मैं बहुत वीकेंड्स पे आई वर्क सो हार्ड आई आई डिड नॉट स्लीप फॉर यू नो आई स्लीप डिड नॉट स्लीप फॉर सेवन टू आवर्स ऑन दिस प्रोजेक्ट एट दिस एंड दैट पीपल टेक इट एज अ बैज ऑफ ऑनर एंड इट किल्स अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल बिकॉज एंड एवरी वन काइंड ऑफ फॉलोज दैट दे वर्क रियली हार्ड and they feel that's the only way to do it people and who are doing well uh, for example i do this because i wish i had this kind of a person that i could look up to when i started up yeah right absolutely and i could not find enough people telling me ki yaar itna mushkil nahi hai if you work hard yeah working hard is a given right if you work hard you will figure it out rather people had so many questions and so many areas through which they were telling me ki yaar ye nahi chalega you will not like you're not capable enough you will not figure it out you are a mother like take care of your kids before you get into business what are you doing why are you doing this and that sort of hit me really on my journey if i had more examples that i could look up to and take inspiration from or talk to who could tell me ki yaar theek ho jayega i would have been far less stressed during the early years and that's the only point that i'm trying to make ki yaar हार्डवर्क तो करना पड़ेगा उसका कोई ऑल्टरनेट नहीं है अब हार्डवर्क को आप पॉजिटिवली भी देख सकते हो और हार्डवर्क को आप नेगेटिवली भी देख सकते हो पीपल हु आर डूइंग वेल इन देर लाइफ राइट नाउ बट हैव अ विजन टू स्टार्ट अप लुकिंग एट द नंबर ऑफ हार्ड वर्किंग आवर्स और अदर पीपल्स जर्नी हु कीप टॉकिंग अबाउट द फैक्ट बहुत मुश्किल है बहुत मुश्किल है बहुत माई नॉट टेक दैट फर्स्ट स्टेप एंड टेक दैट रिस्क बट वेन यू टेल दैम कि यार बहुत मुश्किल है फॉर द फर्स्ट टू थ्री ईयर्स वेन टिल द टाइम यू आर गेटिंग दैट प्रोडक्ट मार्केट फिट टिल द टाइम यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट once you do that it starts getting slightly better like the attitude would change no to only agree only agree uh before we go and let you guys go i think this has been fascinating and you know again congratulations on everything that you've done but like you said uh what you're building is ahead of you yes. and what you've built is kind of that yeah. starting it yes. defines the starting point but not the journey right um and you have created so much inspiration for founders not only in the consumer space but even outside team and company public scaling it like this is amazing like you guys deserve a pat on the back even for the journey you've had honestly <laughs> honestly uh but there are people who are watching who in our audience is younger people who are you know college mein hai sham ko friday ko doston ke sath you know they're having a get together in a hostel room and maybe having a drink or young office going folks everyone wants to start their own business yeah. uh, you know saturday ko doston ke sath family ke sath baithe hue thinking yaar how much loan do i need from my parents to start something that's the that's the audience yeah. right? taking the first step like you said um and today it's very different from the time when we all started maybe like a decade or 8 10 years back right uh it's very different like that time yeah. variables are fewer you know the digital channels are fewer today the very like very cluttered world and it's going to get even more cluttered uh what is the one thing and i'll ask i'll you can take this you know individually one after the other but what is one piece of advice you would leave on the table for them to kind of think about you could call it advice observation reflection regret from your personal mm. thing that you would kind of put down uh, for them Ooh. to think about 
यार एक्चुअली पहले तो आई वुड से दैट द इन्वायरमेंट हैज गॉटन टफ आई वुड जेनुअनली वॉट अ से दैट इन्वायरमेंट हैज गॉटन ऑल्सो गॉटन ईजियर देख वो हर हर चीज़ के लेंसेज होते हैं ऑन वन हैंड यू कुड से दैट इट्स बिकम मोर कंपेरेटिव बट देन ऑन अदर हैंड यू ऑल्सो हैव टू एक्सेप्ट दैट देर इज मच वाइडर कोहॉट विच इज देयर इन ऑनलाइन एंड देर आर डिफरेंट चैनल्स लाइक यू नो क्विक कॉमर्स विच हैव इमर्ज विच आर मोर प्रोन टू कन्वीनियंस विच कुड नेवर सर ऑफ यू नो बी डन इन इन अ नॉन कन्वीनियंट टू डे काइंड ऑफ अ डिलीवरी काइंड ऑफ अ फॉर्मैट राइट तो अगर वो कंपेरेटिव इंडेंसी बढ़ी है राइट तो यहाँ पे नंबर ऑफ एवेन्यूज एंड चैनल्स भी बढ़ गए कैपिटल बढ़ गया एग्जैक्टली राइट दिस इज सेकेंड पॉइंट राइट अगर सॉर ऑफ यू नो रिस्क बढ़ा है राइट तो कैपिटल अवेलेबिलिटी बढ़ गई है राइट तो आई डोंट थिंक इट इज फर्स्टली इट इज मोर चैलेंजिंग और लेस चैलेंजिंग द जर्नी ऑफ स्टार्टिंग अप विल ऑलवेज रिमेन चैलेंजिंग बट लाइक आई थिंक इन सर्टन वेज इट्स बिकम ईजी राइट इन सर्टन अदर वेज माई थिंक बिकम टफ ऑफ राइट द अदर थिंग that that i would say is actually the only thing that has genuinely moved right is that it's become more respectful right that call of either starting up from your college and not taking up a job or leaving a stem job and starting a company and the way it was looked down upon 10 years back right i think that moved has clearly moved. and there are examples that people have now right and especially with a shark tank yeah. it's become much more acceptable okay. right if it with you know podcasts like yours where you're bringing stories right it's become much more of a acceptable conversation at home and hence the respect that you get for taking that call right and making them the affair has has increased right so that has been a needle move right but if i was to give one mm-hmm. advice you know and and i started with that and i would uh, again come back to that right is that you need to think about how your product mm-hmm. is going to be differentiated and value adding to the consumer the the times of me to products just sustaining based on you know um, higher salience of marketing right are you know non existent right just sustaining on the back of pure distribution right on our existence you need to if you want to build something sustainable right you need to know how you're different from what the consumer is buying today right and what is the reason willing for that right and how you're going to be able to craft that story right so put a lot of time into making sure that you're you're researching that understanding that and developing something which has that that difference right it could be on value on price or convenience somewhere. whatever are the access right no? but somewhere it needs to be different right no? um and it needs to tell its story of that difference right no? and consumer needs to appreciate, appreciate that distance right that's also very important because if there are 10 parameters of how a category is bought and what's important for the consumer when they are buying that category right no? and you're differentiating on on the 10th parameter right no? it's going to be a difficult sell because they genuinely don't care about that parameter as much mm-hmm. or if there is a cohort which cares for that parameter a lot more right then you can build for that cohort mm-hmm. right but wo differentiation hona chahiye aur wo differentiation consumer ke liye important hona chahiye right? and i think that's that's the one point that that uh, i would i would like very valid and that's the thing people the bar that people set on this especially in consumer brand is ki we need to become inventors You don't need to become inventors. You need to become very deep observers yeah. of consumer. Yeah. So even small yeah. insights can become massive differentiators. Absolutely. This, this yeah. Right. I mean, ये कोई this is not inventor. This is yeah. observation. Right. You have observed that you know, 50 साल से barbers जो है have been using something to sharpen the edge. Right. So means that you know a blade. Or, and of course, we know a sharper edge blade delivers much better shaving experience. And automatically, that will lead to much better appreciation of the uh, product. Right. So this is. This is observation, not invention. It, it's not very difficult to make this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not very hard. Yeah, yeah. But having that insight and having that Makes vision that difference. this will make that difference yeah. is something that one needs to be sharp on. I think uh, I'll add to what Varun said. I resonate with both the points that he mentioned, um, and I also believe that environment has actually gotten easier for you to start up compared to what it was five, you know, seven, ten years back. 
currently we are sitting at a time in India where not just the startup ecosystem but the government is also focusing on starting up. I don't think we've experienced this kind of a support from the entire nation ever before. Agree. You know, you have multiple lines of people who will who can or systems who can invest in you. Second, there are a lot of people who are sitting mm -hmm. on the edge who are not able to decide ki yaar karu ye step lu ya ye step nahi lu how will it pan out mm -hmm. etc. I think my only advice there is like Varun said if you have that differentiated proposition you very strongly believe ki yaar ye work karega. Choti si testing kar lo. Agar us testing mein aap 100 logo ko reach out karte ho aur aap panch consumers on board aa jate hain who really love your product. It's a niche category. Let's assume that. You're good to get started. The only way you'll get to know, and no matter what stage, right? A lot of people feel that I'll do this first, I'll experience it, I'm not in this category, so how do I figure out? And I personally went through it, right? I personally had this big doubt that I'm not from this industry. How will I be able, will I be able to make this a business or not? But what I've realized is, starting with this, it is something that you have to get into to, able, to be able to figure it out. Yeah. So, if the product part of it is something, and it could be a tech product, it could be a, you know, a product like ours, etc. If you have that sorted, take that first step, give yourself a time period, try it. And if Once you have sorted, it, it means its idea is sorted, because all the answers can't be done before starting. If there's no product, there's probably an idea that it can be done. There's a theoretical research on it. Yeah, so like, the similar thing happened to us. What we put in the first boat deck, Nothing panned out like that, <laughs> apart from the numbers. He, <laughs> apart from the numbers, we had predicted we'll be like this listed company in 10 years. We are a listed company in seven years. So that did work out. We ensure that we are not going back on that. But product ideas, yeah. category ideas, evolved. kept evolving as we understood the consumer more, as we understood what is it that we can expand in. This kind of inciting will only happen once you're in it. In it yeah. you, you cannot, like... Strategy. Keep procrastinating, procrastinating and not taking an action and saying this will be the right time. Well, right time The right time is when you take that first step. Yeah. So take that first step. Take the step. Yeah. Try it out. Worst case, nahi chalega na. You'll know. Correct. You'll know. Correct. Also, like become comfortable with worst case, and you're right. Mm. Yeah. You're right. Like yeah. it's not very expensive at a time or a capital level to yes. try out something in a small universe. थोड़ा सा ट्राई कर लो सी अदर यू गेट कॉन्फिडेंस एंड देन मूव फॉरवर्ड इन वो ट्राई करने का भी मतलब आपको वो पैसा नहीं प्रोडक्ट बनाने की जरूरत है यार राइट वी आर ऑल इन इन द बिजनेस ऑफ इदर सेलिंग ऑन सर्विसिंग ह्यूमंस कस्ट ऑफ अस एंड लाइक देन देयर आर पेट्स एंड अदर आई डोंट वांट टू सर्ट ऑफ बी Non inclusive, there, but most of us are in business of uh, and even there we are in the so we are selling to humans <laughs> only yes that's yeah, right so and we just complicate it so much <laughs> principally that's the business that every one of us in aap it services company chala raha ho right tab bhi you are in the business of serving humans aap food business chala raha ho aap beauty and personal care chala raha ho aap kuch bhi kar you are in the business of serving or selling products to humans and hence just going and sitting across a table and with 50 to 100 humans and, and explain relevant right aapki tg ke type ke right who are going to be your potential customers customer. right ye point nahi hai ki aap agar baby care product bana rahe ho aur aap ja ke jo hai purchase manager se baat karo kisi ki to wo fair nahi but agar aap agar koi b2b product bana rahe ho right so it is 25 purchase managers right if it is you know baby products it's 100 mothers right now these are the consumers that you just need to have a conversation across the table and as long as you're having that conversation about the idea that you have, right? I think one of the other problems is people are so protective about ideas. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's an idea. Like, उसको अपना हम नहीं डाइम मिला करने को मतलब उसको अपने हमने तेरा आइडिया लेके कौन बिजनेस बना रहा है यार राइट और दूसरा आइडिया में एग्जीक्यूशन में लगती है सारी डिफरेंशिएशन स्पेशली ना कंट्री लाइक आर्स राइट वी आर नॉट अबाउट लाइक फैंसी वेरी डिफरेंशिएटेड इनोवेशन एंड आइडियाज वी आर अबाउट गेटिंग थिंग्स डन यू नो एंड डे ऑन डे डूइंग इट ग्रेट राइट सो लाइक लोग बताते नहीं अपना आइडिया उस चक्कर में राइट आई थिंक दैट्स अ वर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू हैव टेल इट टू 50 पीपल स्पेशली पीपल हु कैन बी पोटेंशियल बायर्स राइट and if you're getting a vibe, why are they understanding it? 
that itself is a great yeah, starting yeah. point. You don't need to build a product. Yeah. You can actually, this is your first testing, right? And if you have confidence here, that actually people are willing to buy it. It just, it just is a starting point. I remember. But you need to know the differentiation on the product. Yeah. To of be course. able to talk, yeah, have yeah, a conversation, right? The story yeah. that you want to tell, you should be clear. Yeah. Right? Absolutely right, right? But then, uh, you don't need the product to tell that story. Right? Yeah. You can tell that story, right? I remember like uh, August 2016 yes. and was the first time when we stood outside, outside baby store. stores, right? Moi, matlab product development chal raha tha background mein, kuch hamar paas nahi tha, right? But we had the story, right, of what was the proposition and we wanted to sell, right? And what was the kind of consumer we wanted. And hum log like did so, do so, mother se wahan weekend pe promoter ki tarah khade ho ke we just kept pitching. Right? This is the brand. This is the logo. We have a power point. We have a logo. And like, we have a green color. We have a promo desk. And we have candies. We have a promo desk. We have a candy. 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 We have a you are there when I solve your consumer need. Yeah. You tell her or him, imagine if I were to give you X at yes. this price, would you take it? It's such a powerful way yeah. to define your own yes. product yes. vision in a way, right? Absolutely. If this is what the consumer said they want. Now let me create it. Mm. Let me see if I can actually create it. Yes. Once you have those insights around the consumer, once you've done all of this work, then you are able to articulate it far better. You are able to create a deck far better that you can take to investors, raise money around it, and that helps you take the first step. So it is like I still feel, cons you know, taking in consumer insighting and understanding it really well. You might take in data, but being able to oh, yeah. understand is, is still a lot of people miss that, uh, which I think. I don't. I don't know how else to take decisions. <laughs> Amazing. This has been amazing. Varun Gazal, I think even in this call, and this is the first time I've spent so much time with both of you alone. Yeah. We are always started yeah. by 20 yes. people at a party or yes. an event or whatever, but this has been truly fascinating. It's something which I have learned so much from fundamentally around your, I think, outside in, of course, we would have seen your intelligence and strategic brilliance on the way you guys built the business. But seeing both of you and the respect you have for each other i love that i love that you let each other tell stories about like he let you tell a story about him and <laughs> so it's it's awesome that yeah. you were like you guys are so in sync and uh, i think that chemistry uh, is probably what percolates the organization and people are not able to put a finger on how valuable that pulse is but i now have a first hand view as to why you've been able to build something so special. So, huge kudos to you. And thank you for being generous with uh, with your insights and your time. Uh, and I'm hoping that people who are watching are able to take that step <laughs> into, into the world that, uh, that, that we all operate in. But uh, it's been a truly memorable one for me. I think everyone, I've not seen this team this this quiet. There's always someone moving around, <laughs> standing up, going to the bathroom. But they've been like yeah, this. But we had a lovely time. Thank you for having us. No. And I think you made the entire conversation yeah. like so easy. We didn't <laughs> feel we were there were cameras there. It just felt like we were having conversations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank it's you been so four much. hours. We just it's four, four hours. hours. Yeah, seven. Oh, yeah, it's been yeah. <laughs> three and a half hours. I think they have a la la so it's amazing. Amazing. It's pata hi nahi chala. Yeah, they have, they have gifts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do they have our latest oh, stuff? Sweet. Uh, the Bombay ones, yes. Yes. Oh, the super. Thank you. Thank you yes. so much. This is for I the get the new innovation. <laughs> Yay. <laughs>